we are back with full video and full audio. Thankfully, Sin was able to return to us after a slight hiatus. So we bring you our latest episode titled A Surprising Amount of Blood. We are once again in the midst of a hag lair, although no hags have yet to be seen. Lots of other things, though, both awesome, mundane, malicious, and everything in between. Uh, The crew continues to poke around and touch things they probably shouldn't, but you never learn unless you try. We hope you enjoy. We're off to adventure to go roll the dice. Come seize your advantage and you'll roll them twice. Even if we lose our way, we'll make a journey someday. Something awaits you, so wake us away. Who knows what role? So, having recapped for Sin and Noel, we can pick up where we left off in the kitchen among the smoldering remains of some skulls. Well, who wants to run Hildreth just in case we need Hildreth? Wait, do we get access to his character sheet? I'll do it. I know what I'll class fight. Is. I'll fight. Fight. We, we all know. We all know what class he is. <laughs> I just have no know idea how now. his class features work. Yeah, I mean, I know how his class features work because he sent me the document six months ago. I was gonna so. say, I know he shared it with Noel, so I'm gonna. I'll let Noel. Ha. Mm-hmm. Ah, fine. You sure you want to do that? Because I'm not sure if his character sheet will come out unscathed. I get oh. to fix you can... it. <laughs> you already have his yes. character sheet, Noel. <laughs> oh, I just never bothered to look at it because I already do it. No, apparently not. Yeah, you you have the power. You you right. I have so much power. Ready to go. Uh, oh wow, you this have all is the power him. now. I'm kidding. It's power. actually remarkably well organized. And I don't know how to deal with that coming from Twinkie. <laughs> I think you fixed it once before, and he just didn't mess with it after that. That sounds right. Um. So, yeah, you you have Hildreth. Okay. So, uh, here we are, investigations, fire, a few magic items, and some picks. Y'all can take it up from here. Uh, you also still have trucing for probably like the next... Good to know. 40 minutes or something like that? Something like that. Yeah. Which is why we're yeah, not taking you've, you've a been, short rest yeah. right now. Let's continue sweeping back where we were. We didn't get to check out the pigs or the chop shop, really. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll come back around and get the main room. Uh, the, uh, after. Yeah, I'm going to say, the fight happened in the dull room, so that's where your ex- the exploration basically ended. I'll go to the pig room. Yeah. And look for a... <laughs> Can I go to the pig room? Pig. Okay. For a badger-ish pig? Yes, we are still What does a badger-ish him. pig look like? Yes, like I know! Badger. What does a badger-ish pig look like? I guess I'm what more does like, badger a look than like a pig. That's a good question. I don't know. Didn't you have an earring or something? Yeah. Oh, that was the pig head that had the earring. Uh-oh. Badger, um, the only people who saw Badger transform were the ones who fought with him back at the Bloodwell. Oh, that would be most of us, actually, yeah. except for Hildreth. Hildreth and Kern, because Kern was doing the ritual. Oh, right. He didn't actually fight. He was trying to keep the place from falling down. Um, so, yeah, you guys have seen him in his... Um, My brain is just broken. Uh, you've seen him in his middle form, his hybrid form. That's the word I'm looking for. Him in his hybrid form when he was fighting as a werebore. Uh, 
you haven't actually seen him as a full on boar. All right, well, I guess we can look through the animals for other sides of like, um, basically just jewelry because it seems like that's part of what keeps these people in their form. Most of the Transformers animals we found had some sort of jewelry, if I recall. Did his clothes rip when he transformed like the Hulk? No, but he does wear very loose clothing. Like, he is, his shirt is has always been a little bit larger than it would necessarily need to be for him. So, uh, so no, it didn't rip like the Hulk. Transforms? You saw him, he did. Okay. Like I said, he wasn't a full boar when you saw him transform. He was hybrid. Did he have any sort of particular color patterns, like a birthmark or like a discoloration in like his fur or anything. Uh, roll an intelligence, see if you remember that. Well, I, I wouldn't remember it because I've never seen it. I can roll an intelligence. Yes. Okay. <laughs> somebody, somebody who is not at negative one. There's a plus. I'm got my fairy <laughs> out, so there's a plus one to this when I roll it. Uh, no. All right, so we're noodling it out. Um, not that you can recall, he was a darker color as a hybrid, uh, but it also might have been because it was super dark in the cave where you were fighting. Uh, Sarn Alacor was, you know, overtaken by mist at the time. Uh, so nothing that you really recognized, although he, he said he was darker in color. Why don't we check out these pigs to see if there's like signs that they've been transformed? I'm not sure if True Sight would see through that, or if at the very least we could check for the, that magic jewelry that they all seem to have. Okay. With True Scene still active, uh, these pigs appear to be um, mo mostly just pigs. <laughs> There's actually eight pigs in here. I know there's only four because I can only fit four tokens in the in the thing. But there are eight pigs in this little pen. And uh, they are just pigs. They, they look like livestock. There are two of the eight that have the blue inner ear and they seem a little bit bigger than their... Uh, sort of crowding them out of the way. And they, they seem to be more boar-like than pig-like. But the other pigs just appear to be pigs. Yeah. Well, he was a boar, wasn't he, when he transformed? Oh, yeah, he was a big tusk boar. Yeah, he was, he was, a, he was a beefy boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, too, was a beefy boy. A ranger or a druid would be useful right now. Well, Does Hildreth have anything that allows him to talk to animals or read their minds uh, or something? Uh, no. <laughs> Let me check Lana. She has some stuff. Oh, I think I have tons oh. prepared. Does that work with animals? I don't, I don't think it does. I don't think so. Yeah. I have animal friendship, but not speak with animals. And Hildreth has the same problem. Spell grants the creature oh, okay. touch the ability to understand any spoken language it hears. So, is pig grunts a language? I don't think it's a language thing. Wait, Moreover, could... when, the, when the target speaks, any creature that knows at least one language can hear the target and understand what it says. So, that's, that's pigs don't really sense. speak. Yeah. <laughs> pigs don't actually speak. But if you... Uh... Assuming but if they they are... Are... But if they understand a language, though, then we can, can understand what I'm saying. Maybe they can understand what I'm saying. What are you saying, Sin? Well, basically, what Sid was saying. Idea. No, it just if we uh, get them to understand oh. us, then we can interrogate them. I can interrogate the things. livestock. <laughs> <laughs> interrogate the livestock. Sin is truly back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 
Xylan is back to its, he's got, his full these, power. These seem like normal pigs. I'm going to go check out the chop shop. Yeah. Okay, so the chop shop. Chop shop is a very small butchery. Uh, as clearly evidenced by the smell, the blood-drenched table, the blood-stained floor, the various cuts of meat hanging from the ceiling on uh, thick loops of rope. There's also uh, a few strange boxes on this table. The table uh, spans the entire length of the wall to the back. Uh, but there are also smaller tables of varying sizes along the left and right walls as well. Uh, they seem to be very slapdash, very uh, cobbled together. Some of them obviously made for shorter folks and humanoids, um, but you know, kind of ramshackle in, in the collection. And on both the uh, butchery table at the back and on these various eclectic little collection of side tables are boxes, uh, some no bigger than a mint tin, some fairly sizable bread box sized. All of them are closed except one sitting on the left hand wall uh, about where your token is, Lana. Uh, right there. Um, that is about the size, of, there's a box there about the size of a shoe box. It is closed, but the contents are spilling out over the side and it is more of the long Blackish hair uh, that hangs across the doorway here. It's out as black where it leaves the box, and as it tumbles closer and closer to the floor, it starts to fade to kind of a silvery blue and then finally ending in white as it pools in the floor at your feet. There's also a small uh, lantern on the other side of the room. Uh, it appears to be a candle that has been inserted in and is now coming out of the top of a small animal skull. And that candle is lit, giving the only light that this room has. I don't like the hair. No. <laughs> yeah. Nothing unusual here, just every the fact that there's such a normal room in this house makes it seem unnormal for, to me. Abnormal, that's the word. Huh. <sighs> Ugh. I don't know. Should we move on? Yeah. There's not like... Okay. What were you going to say? I don't know. There's like nothing like out of the ordinary here or there's not like weird animals. Oh, well, there's a... No, there's a lantern made out of a skull and there's a box of human hair. Yeah. And there's a variety of other boxes strewn about the place. I will take five poking over those things. Maybe we should, like... Because this might just be, like, superstitious knowledge, but, like, if hags have, like, your hair or parts of you, that's, like, not a good thing, I'm pretty sure. It is not good. So you're saying we should wear hair mats? Yes, and wash our hands. Hey, wait, this dog Lonnie. gladiator pit. You yes. said there are dolls of us in there? Some of you, yes. Am I in Not there? all of you. But you, you didn't you feel... You were actually the one wearing the tricorner hat. Oh, well, I'm going to take my doll. <laughs> You're okay. like six foot he's tall. He's pretty tall. damaged. Oh, he's six feet tall? <laughs> he's really damaged. Yeah. Yeah, they're life size. They're, okay, they're well, then I'll size. smash him. Yeah. Okay. Not difficult to do because uh, the fire damage is pretty severe. But uh, yeah. 
it's a it's a modified version of you. It doesn't have your hair coloring though. It has a darker. Um, but yeah, it, he's pretty burnt and a little melted, so he's he's fairly easy to smash. The hat, however, is untouched and falls to the floor. I'll take the hat. Uh, the candle. Okay, you take the hat, uh, Lana. The candle is lit as is. Uh, gotcha. Um, and if you you want to confiscate the hair, you want to open the yes. uh, the chest. Yes. Okay. Uh, Lana, why? As you open the chest. <laughs> I don't think you know me. <laughs> um, it's fairly deep, and it's not just black hair that's in there. Uh, once you open it and see the entirety of the contents, there's a mixture of colors in there. Some of the hair is held together in braids. Some of it is just raw wads of hair. Um, various colors. Uh, are you taking it out or are you going to burn it? I will for now take it out and see what's at the bottom of this box of hair. Okay. Alright, so you retrieve the hair. Ew. And at the bottom are three vials ha. of a. It's a difficult color. It's like a chartreuse color liquid. There's three of them. Oh, thank God. Not blood liquid. <laughs> oh, it, well, not human blood anyway. Uh, um, yeah, can different I color. attempt like a waft test on this? Try to ID it at all? Taste <laughs> I mean, that's where you would do we're a going. Test. <laughs> Look, I figured I wouldn't go straight to I drink it instead have... of one step of self-preservation first. Okay. Uh, do you have any knowledge of potions at all? Uh, does a prolonged proximity to Lily count? Uh, only if you had Lily's alchemist kit. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Which even I do Lily not. doesn't have. Oh, which even oh, yeah. doesn't currently. She smashed. Like Castle was judging her. <laughs> I have a yeah, too, Castle yeah. was judging her, so she smashed. smashed her. Okay. Um, in the way that I have a plus two to everything, but. All right. Uh, if you want to roll an intelligence, just straight intelligence. No. Add I your two, and that's a, that's this, a you're gonna drink it. Uh, I'm yeah, not actually going to drink it. They'll yell it. They'll yell at me, but I will take. I it. will yell at you. <laughs> okay. Um, so you have your three vials. I can try yes. to identify it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a better plan. Oh, uh, that's, cool yeah, you have identify. We um, when we were yes. in the animal world, we ran across a like weird colored liquid as well. There, that wasn't chartreuse, was it? Mm. That was like lilac or something. Uh, yeah, there were various various colored liquids when you were in the animal world, but none of them were this color. No. Okay. Um, are you casting it as a ritual then, Sin? I'm using my uh, wire specs. I don't think I've used them today. That's right, your wire specs. No, you have not. You've been very conservative with your stuff. You've just been smashing things more than anything. Okay. And smiting. There's a lot of smiting going on. Um, the potion is an antitoxin. Oh. And they're all the same? All three of them? They're all, they're all three the same color, so okay. the, the one you identify is an antitoxin. Hmm. Did you guys interrogate the goblin? We uh, tried, and then he yeah. blew a whistle, and we kind of got immediately lit on fire. Well, let's go give that another he shot. Did. I got zone of truth here. I think we know he's a deal. He's just a lookout who doesn't have a lot of life aspirations for these hags. Yeah, he didn't he didn't know like anything when we were talking to him. He's just like, "Oh, wait, you're real?" Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry that I have to do this. I mean, kind he's... of a jerk, but still. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go in there. He's in here. Okay. The bone room. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, this room is, as you would imagine, full of bones. Uh, there are there are bones that line all the walls, and not in an artistic way, but like in a stacked, thrown in a corner, landfill sort of way. Um, there's also the faint sound of a bird or something up above. Uh, you can hear like the flutter 
of something moving, wings moving. And uh, in this corner over here, there is a fairly sizable cage. And within the cage is a uh, larger than average, and by larger than average, I mean halfling sized uh, rat ish creature snarling and biting at the bars. In the center of the room is the goblin. Uh, where he's reading his little book. He's in a, a very small cage sitting on the floor. It's large enough that he has a little bit of room to move. He's got a small sleeping spot. He's got uh, a very neatly stacked plate and cup off to one side and a small candle for light. Oh, what book is he reading? That is the only light in this room. It's, it's very, like, it's made his size. It's very small, so it's difficult to see. It, there's no printing on the binding, and it looks homemade. We so found it, out it that it was it was the journal mm -hmm. of the uh, little girl who turned into a hag. Oh, okay. Yeah. As the most end yet, so. Yeah. Uh, hi, I say. Looks up. Oh. I'm surprised to see you again. Have you seen a dwarf that can turn into a boar? They might have already asked you that. I have not seen a dwarf that can turn into a boar. That is true. A few boars. Have you seen a boar that looks like it wants to turn back into a dwarf? <laughs> he kind of cocks his head at you a little bit. <laughs> I'm not sure I know what that looks like. So, are you here of your own free will? Of course. This is a lovely place, aren't you? What's the deal with the rat in the corner? Oh. Pardon? I don't know. He doesn't talk. So, this bird flapping up above, I can't see that? Or I can't see where it's coming um, from. It, it's, you can't really see where it's coming from just because it's dark. It's not like the room is super cabinet, cavernous or anything, but it is the the little baby stub of a candle that the goblin has is the only light in this room. All right, well, is there, are there torches around this? Um, Actually, I've got, I've got my around. helm on. I can see in the dark. Good. Yeah, you have dark vision. It's just hard to see in the shadows. Like, it could be hiding in the bones. It's somewhere in this little echoey chamber, but you don't see it right away. Um. So, could I uh, reach the ceiling with my sword if I... Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You could poke the ceiling. It's not very tall. Alright, I'll start jabbing the ceiling with my uh, sword. Just trying to hit all the <laughs> spots where a bird could be hiding. Okay. <laughs> you start poking at the stone ceiling with your great sword. A little goblin. And like, what are you What are you I'm looking for a bird. If you find it, don't hurt it. What is it? Bird. What kind of bird? Pigeon. Pardon? A pigeon. Is he your friend? Oh, he's a bird. You poke and, and chip away at the ceiling. You can hear bones slide from this corner here and lo and behold a pigeon comes darting out from one of the eye holes of a skull sweeping past full pigeon mode and uh, as it tries to make its way out of the room quickly instead of cooing it, it gives a weird cackle it sounds like a human laugh oh shit bird hag pigeon hag I'll try to smite it. Okay, smite it. <laughs> Make an attack roll on the pigeon. 
Uh, oh, well, that's not good. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. I get two Thanks. attacks. Welcome Wait. back, Sam. <laughs> All right. Go again. Hey. There we go. Not good. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage, even though it's it's a bird. <laughs> go ahead. So my character sheet is up to date as far as spell your slots. Character sheet is accurate. Yes, okay. your character sheet is accurate. Um. So I'll slap a divine smite on there. <laughs> poor bird. Yeah, I'll just do a first level <laughs> one since I don't know whether it's actually okay. a, a hag or not. And smite. Um. Whoa, shit. That was wow. pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So you knock this bird out of the air, and it just comes crashing down to the floor just outside the door here. Basically, you know, not only nearly cut in half, but also very singed. Uh, it makes no more noises. Moves. Oh. It moves. It is... No, it, it is it is no longer moving. It is dead. D E D dead. <laughs> I'll go stomp on it a few times just it. to make sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Crushing the poor thing into the into the stone. So I'll say to the goblin, so this wasn't your friend, this doesn't bother you at all, as I stomp on the pigeon. Zylan, what are you doing? Just it's bird. just a bird. Nah, we're, we're, we're investigating the rest while Zylan is going back here and doing All right, it. well, uh -huh. Zylan is, is talking to the goblin and, and smashing his He yelled about bird, bird hags. I was going to run back because there's a bird hag. He did. He did yell. Uh, so, Kern, what are you doing while uh, Zylan is interrogating the goblin? I and was... Lana and uh, Davin are looting the chop shop. <laughs> Go over here and look at this place. Oh, okay. All righty. So you head over to this little storage area. Uh, and again, very much what it looks like. It is uh, full of barrels and crates and quite a bit of um, uh, feed bags, like big bags of grain, like you would expect to see in a feed room. Um, there are various cages that hang from the ceiling, but they are all mostly empty. Nice. Um, the cages are small enough <laughs> to hold a bug um, and large enough to hold a small child. In the far corner over here, where there is a frozen statue below, there is a moderately sized cage with what appears to be a humanoid head uh, around its neck is still dripping which gives the statue below it an odd pink hue uh, nice roll a perception check <laughs> yep uh, hold on Let me open up everything. Oh, geez. Perception. There we go. That's a 16. It's not bad. Um, you can hear the uh, squeak and shuffle of rats. Very similar to what you heard in the cloakroom. Which, you know, not unheard of. In a green room. Uh, you can also hear a very, very low, almost beyond, like under the, the range of hearing, a sound of somebody uh, mumbling or whispering. Uh, not clear enough that you can make out what it's saying. It is, it is almost subaudible. But it's there. Does, does it seem to be just like ambient or coming from a direction it's low enough that it feels ambient but it does seem to be coming from the head like you don't notice it when you first enter the room 
um, it gets slightly louder as you as you get closer to that corner but we're talking like maybe a degree or two louder it's still incredibly quiet and if it wasn't in a stone chamber you probably wouldn't hear it at all okay mention the fact that you're a lighthouse so there's that too I guess I'll go through like all the bags first, like kind of shifting them around to see if there's like any inconsistency in weight, like if it's just feed or if there's like something else inside of them. Okay, uh, roll your investigation. Oh gosh, this is terrible. Hey, no, look at that. That's super good. Uh, so going through it's 95 percent grain in feed um as you move barrels and kick bags aside you again here's the, uh, the shuffle um and squeaks of rats but you don't see any and you don't see like none of the bags have been gnawed on there's no rat poo or anything like that uh you just sort of hear them yeah. uh but yeah 95 percent of the food in here would be for animals and anything else would be what you would consider kitchen staples so there's a little flour there's a tiny bit of honey there's some dried fruit um, but all of that is fairly small in comparison to the vast amount of of grain and uh, frozen oats and a lot of it has been um is is cold and sort of brittle to the touch but some of it's fresh too a couple yeah. bags are new yeah. Well, Coolio can. Uh, so I was just wondering if there was like actual other stuff in the feed bags, but apparently, uh, apparently not. Um, um, any foreign objects or anything like that? No, it, they're all uh, the bags. Even the bags that are busted are are still just full of. Uh, were sealed, and if you if you open them, they they seem to be green. So. Yeah, probably about this time, I we hear bird hag. So I'm gonna <laughs> grab. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the cage with the head in it and just run back to see what oh, the hell is. God, <laughs> no. Okay, so you come running up to the group, clustered around this dead, slightly smoking pigeon on the floor, Zylan with his sword pulled. <laughs> Was that the bird hag? Or was it yeah. the little bird? And also, why are you stomping on it? Um, psychological warfare. Against who? Against us? The goblins. <laughs> why would you do something as disgusting as that as I bring up a cage with a head? No, what tackling. are you doing, Karen? Ah! Love's pulling hair out of stuff. You're stomping a bird. Karen has a cage with a head in it. Really? It's like helping the most normal prepare. person here. Is the head still mumbling? Yeah, yeah. Now mumbling? that you have it, yeah, you can you can still hear it. Um, and everyone else is is welcome to make a perception check as well, just to to see who can and who cannot <laughs> hear this thing. Um, oh wow, look at that! Everybody's awesome. Nope, not everybody. <laughs> Zylan is stomping. He's he's not paying attention. Uh, but yeah, you guys, uh, other than Xylan, who's preoccupied, can absolutely hear the very, very low, constant murmur. It's almost like having um, rain or a waterfall in the background. It's just a constant stream of noise. Um, and now that you have the light out of the feed room, or have the light, have the head out of the feed room and into the light, um, it, it is talking. Like, you can see its lips move. It's also trailing blood behind it. Did, yeah. Is that a fresh head? Fresh? I, I don't know. This has a surprising amount of blood in it. Has anybody detected the magic on that? I can do that. I also have true sight. I was going to say. But I'll also do that. You do have true sight, and it. Okay. Um, there is no magic that you're detecting uh, on this thing. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. 
This thing is weird. But I just wanted to see, bring it out to make sure I wasn't going crazy. I think we all are. That's something that a sane person would do. <laughs> Okay. You have your bloody head. Uh, Zylan, did you want to zone a truth the goblin now that you have killed the bird hag? Um, well, can I see this thing's, this head's lips moving? If you go to investigate it, yeah. The perception is just to hear it and see if, okay. you, if you picked up on the fact that it was talking. But I mean, Kern, it does have a fairly sizable, like it's large enough for a humanoid head. So it's a fairly sizable cage and it is dripping blood and you're only five feet from it. So yes, you, you can definitely see its lips are moving. Oh, can't you were just busy lips. at the moment. Yes, I can. Oh, read, read its lips. Pick it up, turn it around. <laughs> So now your nose to nose. Please don't this kiss it when you do. Head. Why would I do that? I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. That makes two of it's... us. Race and gender are somewhat indeterminate. It's got dark hair. Its eyes are closed. Um, its nose looks like it might have been smashed against its face somehow. Like it's It's not in a natural formation uh its lips are cracked like it's severely dehydrated yeah. uh and yeah it it's talking um you only can catch bits of it it seems to be shifting languages on you so you can follow it for a little bit and then you just get completely lost uh, but it is also talking at rapid speed and what you are catching is it it seems to be talking about experiences uh it it mentions potions it mentions a ritual it mentions um you know an eye of stone languages and it'll come back and it'll start talking about the girl in the well and then it skips languages and it comes back and it talks about uh you know tanning leather and stitching gold and then it skips and it comes back and it'll say little snippets of things like she said it would be fine or <clears throat> excuse me um they weren't supposed to be in danger or she told me this in confidence and then it'll skip languages and it'll come back and it'll be talking about something completely different uh it, it obviously doesn't take any breaths in between this it is a it is a uninterrupted stream of information Seeming to jump topics erratically and in and out of different languages. Gotcha. Well, as during the parts that I understand, I'm just going to be like repeating mm -hmm. what what it's saying out loud so everybody can hear it. I'll ask you what is what's its name okay. is. To see if it responds to questions. It doesn't seem to respond to questions. Um, its hair is covering its ears, or where its ears should be. Well, I'll move its hair Not out sure, of the way and then but... shout into its ear hole. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna stick your hand in the cage and move its move its hair. Um. Well, I've got my. Well, when you put it that way, no. My plate metal glove on, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> you shove your hand in between these bars, and pushing aside the the link, sweaty, dirty, dark hair, um, and it, it has ear holes. Uh, ears are are malformed though, so they are basically just holes in the side of its head. Um, but if it understands you, it, it doesn't give any indication. It it doesn't stop talking. It just keeps going and going uh, you do notice that around the ear hole and up <clears throat> closer into the the hairline of the scalp there's a very strange pattern of um kind of iridescent scales that go through uh, generally not something you see on your standard humanoid uh, but they are there uh, they're almost like fish scales oh hey davin it's your cousin I hope not. I don't think I have a. Do I have a cousin? I'm pretty sure not. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure you read about him in one of those books. Navid of Blitfeld. Okay, now I know you're taking the piss. <laughs> I wasn't sure until then. Um, did we ever, like, mm -hmm. did we ever pass a well, or do you guys know anything about this girl in the well business? Not that I can think of, but let's check out the main room, maybe. Well, did you guys read this diary? Maybe the girl in the well is the hag? I don't know. That's Probably. what we think, I think. At least that's what I think. I think. I'm gonna go grab the diary from this goblin. And flip through it for any reference to a girl in a row. So, so there's a journal in the library that's the exact same book. If, yeah, but the goblin's right here. Do you still want to... Okay. Uh, roll <laughs> roll <laughs> athletics to grapple the diary away from this goblin. Poor goblin. Yeah, that was shot. Yeah, so basically you reach into his cage and you rip out his book, <laughs> rip the book out of his hands because he can't possibly compete with that. He's just a little guy. I'm like, hey, I wasn't done with that one. Well, maybe you shouldn't have sent spheres, skulls of death at us. Oh. You just wait. I'm going to do it again. He sort of huffs and turns around, puts his back to you. I kick his cage. You steal his. Do I? Do I oh, see his whistle? Grabs the bars see, as it rattles. Do I see his whistle? Whistle is uh, it's a. He must have tucked it back to wherever it was. He originally pulled it out of his clothes, um, and you don't see it like on an obvious chain or anything like that. So he he must have put it back wherever it goes. It's not obvious. Up his butt. Might be up his butt. Maybe. Might be where he keeps it. Didn't we? There is precedent. We did, uh, <laughs> We were trying to figure out whether to use the beads because we were. I don't know. Last time I think. Yeah. We, but, were, yeah. we were in a weird spot, and we're like, "No, nah, this is too valuable. Xylan needs to. Xylan's never ever going to use this because it's way too valuable." Yeah. So we decided that you would just never use. You would never use your your prayer beads. Well, half the time is because um, I forget I have them, and the other half is because they're too valuable. I know. Mm -hmm. so so, should we move on we and keep on checking them. out other stuff? Well, I'm just going to, I want to know what this journal says real quick. All right. So now you have his tiny book. And uh, again, it is homemade. And you too get to read the story about uh, a, a girl. She's, you know, like teenish. You can tell by the little little hearts over the eyes. That's a, always a dead giveaway. Uh, but no, she's writing about how uh, she has an upcoming birthday. And most of the story, or most of the journal, I should say, is um, usual kind of stuff, stupid stuff. You know, boy, she's got a crush on and stuff going around the family. And she's jazzed about her birthday, so on and so forth. Now, the line. And then she starts to... Um, get into slightly more disturbing things she's sick or she starts to feel weak um and that seems to she has uh, pretty vivid nightmares and that continues for some time not becoming progressively worse uh, she starts to get massive headaches uh, see things and then she's uh, you know this boy that she's into and you know her family not understanding her and the as you get to the end the passages get a lot shorter and a lot darker and she talks about needing to get rid of her family needing to move on needing to do things differently um, if you're sharing are you sharing any of this out loud or are you just reading it to yourself well i'm assuming these others have read it but i can if that's not the case i can read it out loud if, if you if you are sharing it um Devin, lana uh it this is a a slightly different story hmm. than what you guys read uh a lot of the same elements 
and some of the passages are word for word what was in the previous journal uh down to the names and everything else so it seems to be the same account but there are slight differences um in this one she is actively getting warnings um her dreams that something bad is going to happen to her um a lot of the nasty things that she ran into in the library version happened to other people in the goblins version so they're not identical accounts this ends with her um, planning to remove her family and run off with the boy that she's fallen in love with not how the other one ended so there's no well in this book no other than you know, standard, there was a well on the property. Um, she doesn't talk about ever being in the well, or it didn't seem to have any significance. The boy she loved, is he mentioned in any detail? Really? Um, in the beginning part, where it's very much, you know, she met a cute guy, and it, it's you know very um, doodle in your notebook kind of stuff. Uh, she just talks about how great he is. She doesn't you know, his name is Lucas. Uh, she doesn't give a family name. <clears throat> he seems to be older than her by a little bit, which is why her mother is not in uh, in favor. Uh, but other than generally describing, you know, how much she loves his hair and how pretty she thinks his eyes are and, you know, that sort of thing, um, just sort of fantasy sort of thing, there's not a whole lot of information about him. It's mostly just her... Uh, her fantasizing about him sounds like if she did manage to run off it didn't end well for her that or is maybe, if she's the girl in the well or maybe it's an alternate thing that could have happened what she wanted to happen or maybe that You have a tiny leather bound goblin sized book and a very pissed off goblin who's not speaking to you anymore. Um, I'll ask him why he likes the book so much. Well, it was a really good story and I hadn't finished it yet. How long have you been here? How long does it take you to read? <laughs> <laughs> He's not again. His back is to you, so he kind of turns like the first thing he said. His back was still to you, and now that you've asked him how long it takes him to read, he uh, he kind of turns his head and turn his body. He just turns his head a little. Oh, well, I required glasses, and I didn't have any. So now does I he do. have glasses now? He does he has tiny little like? um wire rim spectacle kind of things where'd you get the glasses from who's given the glasses by who i auntie's friends uh, who's auntie I'm who uh, she lives here this is her home where is she I thought you were her servants too but i i don't To get out so much. Um, Surprise! You haven't seen her true servants. I assumed that's who you lot were. Truth servants. I'm impressed you're not dead. Her true ser servants. Her actual servants. Oh, so what are you a fake servant? That, that's who you were. No, I'm not a servant. I'm a guest. Why are you in a cage then? For my protection. Doesn't look very strong. I'm pretty sure I could get in there. He actually turns, like, swivels his body so that his knees are still facing away from you at a 90 degree angle, but he can turn his head and look at you fully. And he, he, le he looks legitimately terrified. Uh, no, no inside check required. Like, he, he looks <laughs> absolutely scared shitless. You wouldn't do that. So this this book is a story of Auntie. 
don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Well, where'd you get it? The girl seems to be on the servants brought it to me. They bring me things to read. Who are these servants? And my food and my light. Um, they're just people like you. Do they look like druids? I know what that looks like. They're they're just like you. Maybe not Wait. like when you her, say like us, but like you. you. When you say, like, look like us, do you mean, like, literally like him? Or, like, oh, oh no, all no, no, no. look the same. That's one, yeah, he, he points at current. That one, yes. Wait, Generally, like you. Well, where'd they go? <laughs> I don't know. They, they come and go. I... And they're all, not always, but... They can be different. Uh, she must have a lot of them because sometimes I don't see the same one for candles and candles. <laughs> um. So how do you... Uh, does Andy visit you? No. No, 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 no. She's far too busy. So how did you come to be here? You're here as a guest, so you came here of your own free will. But I am told, yes. You don't remember. I think uh, you might be mistaken. I think you're actually a prisoner. I don't think I'm a prisoner. That's exactly what a prisoner prisoners. would say. Well, a prisoner <laughs> doesn't mind what I mean anyway read stories about prisons and prisoners and those people are very ill-treated i'm not can i see your glasses eat them i'll grapple his glasses off his face <laughs> okay grapple his glasses <laughs> let me roll this poor thing <laughs> oh that is that is awful okay <laughs> <laughs> God, this guy's got no chance. <laughs> he grapples the wireframes from him as he struggles in vain to keep them on his face. You do, you obviously win because he's just a little goblin. <laughs> okay, I'll raise my visor and look through them and see if I see anything interesting. Oh, um, no, they're they're not the best made glasses. So you can you can see where the wire is just barely bent around the frame and the frames are fairly thin um they're more magnifying than anything and uh and yeah they're just they're cheaply made fairly amateur cool they they don't other than making the room look kind of you know fish-eyed for you um they don't seem to be anything special can i bend the bars of the cage um, they're fairly thick. You wouldn't be able to bend them. You might be able to destroy them, but they are they are metal. They look like they're made out of heavy iron, so it would take some doing. Alright, I'll pull out my mace and I'll tell the goblin to move to the other side of the cage. I just I don't uh, think I don't like this. I I don't think this is a good idea. Freedom is scary. You'll you'll get well, you might not like it, but I mean the, the, Whatever. Uh, I, I can't leave you in a cage. Why? Can we sidebar real quick? <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? Uh, so I, I'm, a, I'm with you on this. He's definitely a prisoner. It doesn't know it, but I think maybe we free him after we handle the hags because he seems to be very loyal to them. Um. He already did try to kill us once. That's fair, but that's because he's, you know, brainwashed. Yes, and we can... And also a goblin. I mean, goblins do what goblins do. And having a brainwashed person roaming around here is so much better than having him confined to one space. Well, how about we stick him on a leash you. until we're done here? I don't want to deal with the, the goblin on the leash, is basically what I'm trying to say here. I agree with you that we <laughs> should so... probably help him out, but... 
Well, he's stuck in the cages and no while, quantity. This little goblin is hearing this entire conversation and keeps interjecting. Is <laughs> I don't want to be on a leash. I and I don't want to go. Yeah, see? What are you talking? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Let's 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 not try to make enemies here or something. What's your name anyway? I asked the goblin. He gives it. Um, he gave it to the the group the first time you came through here, but he gave it in goblin, so it just sounds like he's coughing up a hairball. All right, we'll call you hairball then. Uh, but we're gonna keep exploring this place. But you sit here and think about what you might want to do with your freedom once it's eventually granted. And again, looks abjectly terrified. As he sits in the bottom of his cage, he's sort of hugging. He, now he's turned around. While you guys were having your discussion, he spun himself back. So he's facing forward again fully. And he's basically just hugging his knees to his chest. Also, anybody asked, we were never here. <laughs> That's right. I give him back his glasses in the book. He, he accepts them, you know, thankfully, desperately, as if they're talismans for his protection. Oh, and, and he holds them close to himself. If you want uh, another book that you might be interested in, I will hand him a Jack Dangerous original novel by my dad. <laughs> Aww. Oh my God. He also takes that. There's plenty more of those outside of these four walls. And Just let me tell you, this one, you of freedom. this one, you'll want to read the rest. I mean... I kind of whispered to Davin, it's like, if it took him that long to read through the journal, I don't know if he's going to make it through a Jack Dangerous book. That just means he gets to enjoy it for even longer. Every second of the Jack Dangerous novels is a non-stop, no holds for a thrill ride. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your word. Lana, are you... Are you headed into the kitchen while yes, these guys are just avoiding fine this. literature? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, are you, do you actually want to investigate the kitchen? Yes. I don't you know why they the poked group? over okay. it. Nah. Well, they'll be fine. They we did not. They ran in here. Kitchen. Oh, perfect. Well, yeah, they they this. ran in here. Ooh. Okay. Good. You go. So, well. Boys are dealing with the goblin and, and discussing fine literature. <laughs> Lana has wandered into the kitchen and uh, yes, you, you got a glimpse of the kitchen as you were fighting the skulls. It is a, a, a kitchen. Um, there's a barrel of wine to the back wall that you can see the, the hall going to the south or the room to the south with pigs in. You can hear them and smell them. Uh, Gross. Pretty obvious where they are. The statue here in the corner, yeah, for you it would definitely be gross. You're much more of a city girl than <laughs> than our others here. So yes, sure. uh, the statue in the corner is another one of the frozen statues, and in this case, it is somebody that has a frying pan in their hand, and they're holding it as if they were in the act of frying something. So holding it out as if over a fire. Uh, they're dressed in what does not at all seem to be cook's clothes, though. They've got leather armor, they've got sort of iron band braces, or at least some sort of dark metal band braces. Um, there's a, a whip that's been tied to his side. Um, he's, you know, got a fairly impressive mustache. Uh, definitely does not look like a, a tradesman. But mm. is still holding an iron frying pan. Uh, there's also a different statue here next to the uh, the butcher block sized table here. Um, and that person is dressed like a tradesman. As a woman, uh, middle-aged, their hair pulled back pretty tightly, uh, wearing the fairly standard, uh, probably uh, rough cloth outfit of a tradeswoman uh, and she has been posed to where she's got something uh, her hands are, are it closed over something like a ball it's kind of ball shape you can't actually see what's inside of her hands and she's leaning slightly forward over the table itself am i going to go uh, frozen, frozen in place statues probably 
Hmm. Maybe we should desecrate the statue. I would like to For get none whatever you is guys in her have hand. touched one. I will touch her hand and try to get whatever is out of her frozen hand. Okay. What's, so what's touch her, her frozen hands. <laughs> and it is it is cold to the touch. Um, I'm gonna need you to roll constitution save, please. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm good at those. Oh hey, I am. That. Uh, you take eight points Ow. of cold damage. Ow! Um, it's it's almost in, like immediate frostbite. Um, you can actually see kind of the outline where your fingertips touched. You can see um, kind of how the, the flesh dies in frostbite, that gray color. Well, that's uh, sort of raises. Yeah, it comes to the top just in, in little outlines around your fingertips where you touch her. But your hands are otherwise un, unscathed. Um, it will take significant strength to pry this apart. Um, the, the statue does not give in any way. It's almost as if it is actually made of stone. Mm -hmm. Although... Do you want to try and break them apart? I will do that, but I will also... Break your hands Lana's, apart? Lana's going to put a cloth over her hand first. Like, you know, do this through a bag. Okay. <laughs> All right. Slightly, slightly <laughs> insulate. Um, and then, oh gosh, your uh, strength is so bad, Lana. It's so bad. So that's a nine. Uh, that's a nine. Um, that is not enough to pry her hands apart. It's not enough to even budge her or or shake ice off the tips of her mm. fingers. Like, it's nothing doing. Well, it's I have like, a bad like idea to handle this. There's, there's nothing doing. So, the boars, I promise this is related. How are they cordoned mm -hmm. off from the rest of the facility? Like, is there like a gate or a door or what? There's a pen. Um, there's there was also a pen here in this room, but I couldn't get it to look the way I wanted to, and it didn't fit right over the thingy, so I let it go. But both of the both of the side pens are actually built-in pens to the wall. You can see the stone wall, um, and then lining that wall is uh, a fairly normal wooden pen, and there is a gate here as well as here um, um, that is wood and iron. So you mentioned the blue-eared boars look like a little tougher, a little meaner than the others, yeah. right? They're larger. Yeah, they're can definitely the, um, noticeably larger. And the buffest of those make me a wisdom saving throw. What? <laughs> that is a thing that can happen. Oh, that's an at one. <laughs> so... I would like my boar now. He's gonna help me with something. Okay. You so from <laughs> animal friendship. <laughs> so in this pen of again, it's it's eight or nine pigs, uh, with two of them being the large blue tinted boars. Um, let's see. Okay, so he's just dumb enough. Whew. Alrighty. So you get a boar. Yeah. Um, I'd like to. Once again, wearing, like, gloves. You know, tie a rope around the statue's wrist. Secure the rest of it to something else. And I'm gonna have my boar help me break it. Okay, where are you gonna tie the other end? Uh, is there anything on the walls that's, like, reasonably secure? Not really. Uh, the table is covered with what you would expect from the kitchen. Mm -hmm. There's a, a big candy jar. There's a pie saver kind of box on top of it. Um, there's a massive, just like herbs upon herbs upon herbs, like Lily would lose her mind hanging from the ceiling and, uh, kind of festooning the walls with mm -hmm. just this jungle of herbs. And it looks like there might be a shelf running along the upper version with potted plants that are hanging down and kind of, you know, meshing into the dried stuff. Add um, to-do list. Other than, other than that, there's like sausage 
and there's a few strings of garlic that have been put up but the garlic mm -hmm. is black and half rotted you can smell it um and there's some dishes in a cabinet and that's about it there's doesn't look like there's anything stable mm -hmm. the only other furniture is the um the big wine cask along the back mm -hmm. and that's it All everything right. else is either so, hanging on the ceiling or is a table so i'll finish up my boar harness you know get him ready to pull uh hey kern uh, can you hold something for me yeah, but if it's a non-stop... Wait, what is that, Lana? Uh, yeah, can you just come in here and hold something for <laughs> me? Uh, sure, I hand over the skull the skull cage to Davin. Oh, why would you hand this to me, of all people? Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Kern. I'm gonna hand it to Hildreth. <laughs> I'm sure Hildreth would hold it. He'd be okay with it. Probably still be holding right, it so by the time we leave, if nothing else happens. Okay. Hildreth has the head. Uh, you guys are headed to the kitchen. The uh, goblin interrogation has concluded. Uh, guys, do you want to come into the kitchen with them, or do you want to go off and do your own thing? Um, were there more books in the library other than the one that they mentioned? Oh, yeah. There's tons of books in the library. Um, books, Sorry. there's the statue, there's portraits, there's all kinds of stuff to look at. I'm going to the kitchen. poke around so, the library. Uh, what what's in the library is just like books about how we're dying i think if i remember correctly yeah, there's, there's there's a couple of those um they're not all in languages that you guys can read um there's some how-to books there's some very basic books there's uh a lot of cookbooks and recipe collections yeah some of too. the books are purchased like they were actually made by publishing houses but quite a few of them are handmade and hand bound some look recent some are extremely old um yeah but it's fairly it's also fairly mundane like for as creepy as a lot of them are in some of the stories that they tell there's no um mystical magical books of incantations or ancient rites or anything like that like it's it's fairly standard fare it's just some of the things the book talk about they really shouldn't be able to know and you'll what? pick up a random volume and start to flip through it and you'll see bits of your own life people that you know yeah okay what i'm looking for is a sort of uh, i'm looking for like a diary that mentions a well or something like that okay all right go ahead and roll your your investigation and we will try and break things in the kitchen while you look hey and kern yeah so you hold on to this end and then the boar is gonna hold hold this end Okay. Are you gonna break it? Oh, hey, Davin, you, you can hold this too. Body in half. Yes. But, uh, Here. Okay, I hold whatever she just handed to me. So I've got Kern and Davin on one side to like secure the statue, and I've got the pig on the other to break the wrist off. Oh God. Uh, why? She's holding something. <laughs> I want to know what it is. Uh, um, okay. I have a crowbar. <laughs> if that would help. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like committed at this point. Okay, fine. I, say, I, I think she's I, do your thing. I <laughs> can I just try to yank it out of her hands first before we like break her wrists in case this is just a live person that is frozen. I'm pretty sure they're not alive, but you're welcome to try that. <laughs> Nothing here is as it seems, and I'd just rather be on the safe side before we start doing anything. That's reasonable, I guess. All right. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So what are we doing? What's, what's, the, what's the end plan here? I would like to attempt an athletics check to yank this thing out of this person's hand. If he fails, I will try as well. Okay. Okay. Why don't you... They say two can just work together and get advantage. Yes, that yes, we do that. Okay. <laughs> Either way, so turn. both of you, you know, both of you pulling, you do manage to uh, pry the figure's hands apart and listen to the cracking of ice. I do need you, unless you have gloves on. I would have. Um, told Kern, I believe you do with your armor. 
Okay, yeah, as long as you don't have protection. gloves usually. You'll be okay. I've got, character art okay. I do. I've got plate mail gloves, which are, as we know, cold is... Uh, metal is a super good cold isolator something. against the cold. Yeah. Uh, I still need you to do constitution yeah. saves, so you can do so with advantage. Nice. Um, I am what good am I going to do with this boar now? Keep it as your pet or something. So, or something. Yeah. Now you have a boar. You guys are just collecting shit. Um, I got to roll this. Xylan, while you are searching for the books, it takes you a minute. Oops. Um, 11 points of damage for you each, Devin and, and Kern. 11? Ow. 11 cold. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, as you start going through the books, it's just slow going. Um, you don't see any story in particular about a girl in a well, um, but you do find a couple of fables about creatures that live in wells. Um, reading some of them, they're, they're very clearly fairy tales and it's, um, you know, like echoes come to life, that sort of thing. But there is one that talks about a water witch who lived in a well and would uh, drown young children if they got too close. Hmm. So I'm thinking, well, I'll go to the others and tell them what I'm thinking. All right. So you bring your book back with you and enter the kitchen as Kern and, uh, and Davin have managed to pry the frozen, stiff <laughs> hands of, uh, of this uh, figure apart. <laughs> cold, she cold, does cold, have something all resting. Uh, make a deck save, please, Lana. Oh, jeez. Okay. You're good at these, right? My character, she's loading, and maybe? Oh, yeah, Bards get that. Who would have thought? Woo! Look at all okay, those so... 23s on saves. Look at us go. I know. You guys are really rolling well today. I'm, <laughs> I'm slightly disappointed. Well, hey. that means that when we get into, that when we get into combat, it's going to be really bad. I, it's going to be bad, yeah. All right, so again, Zylan, you see this scene as you come into the kitchen with your book. Um, the boys have pulled apart this figure's hands. And, Lana, you do sort of a stage dive. I think you're sliding into home plate underneath <laughs> as a jar, um, size of a mason jar, falls in her hands. And because you rolled so well, you save it before it hits the stone. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh. Tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> it is a mason jar with a uh, frog or toad in the bottom of it. Not very big, about the size of your palm. Mm -hmm. And it is sitting fairly comfortably in there. The the, uh, <laughs> the jar is just big enough that it doesn't crowd him. Uh, there's no water or food or any other indication that somebody has been feeding it. Uh, there's also no frost or no evidence of cold. Uh, you can you can see it breathe from inside the jar. Um, hmm. It is sealed with what looks like black wax on the top. Uh, the lid of the jar itself uh, looks like a dark metal. Uh, pewter or iron. Sealed all the way around with black wax. Um, the frog and or toad has its mouth closed around something. Like It actually kind of makes its cheeks bulge a little bit. Uh, so it's um, maybe the size of a croquet ball, maybe smaller. So now I have to break the toad. And uh, <laughs> you can see a bit of it uh, because the mouth, or the frog can't close its mouth all the way around it. It's too big. So you can you can see a sliver of what it is that it holds. And all you see is sort of a matte black 
color. Hmm. 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 What, what's the thing? Uh, there's a frog and it's got something in its mouth, so I'm inclined to break open the frog. Um, <laughs> kiss it first. Um, it you're welcome to do that. And I won't actually break the frog. Did you say sin? I said kiss the frog. No. Kiss the frog. <laughs> you gotta get out of the jar first. La 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 la, don't be. <laughs> Go on, kiss the frog. Is that the head still mumbling? Ugh. <laughs> head. Mean little mermaid. Yeah. So you've got a boar that is uh, standing peacefully by, his island in the doorway, book in his hands. You've got a jar. Uh, you're standing in a kitchen stuffed with weirdness and cutlery and dishes and cups and right. food. Weird plants that and I desperately want to poke through. Very weird plants, some pie boxes, big jar of candy. Uh, it smells really good in here. Once you get and rid true of the big smell, isn't losing its mind in here. Like these aren't like secretly body parts. No. Well, we should we should probably take a bunch of these like this stuff for Lily when she comes back. Yeah, I was like, thinking I was gonna just poke through all the plants anyway, make sure there's nothing hidden behind them, try to take a gander at what they are. Okay. Well. Uh... We can work on getting the frog's mouth open or something. We can at least break open the jar. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Doesn't it looks like it's sealed with like some magic or something, right? Or is I will it detect like magic. Well, you still have detect magic. It, uh, oh yeah, I still have detect magic. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It, it, um, as far as you can tell, the only thing that glints of magic is what is in that frog's mouth. It's probably keeping that frog alive. Is the frog alive? Yeah. Yeah, you can see it breathe. Like it, it's very much alive. It's it's blinking. It's breathing. It doesn't seem to be affected by the cold. Um, but like I said, there's also no water, no food, no evidence that anyone's been feeding it or taking care of it inside Does the sealed jar. It seemed concerned that we are currently staring at it and moving its jar around. Um, it does not. Uh, it doesn't do much other than breathe and blink um, and occasionally shuffle uh, but no it, it doesn't seem to be agitated or anything it's just kind of hanging out I see open the jar you want to beat the jar open you want to break it or try and go through the lid try to go through the lid yeah yeah okay well, like I said the lid is dark colored metal sealed with black wax could take a knife to the wax, cut through it. Yeah. Who's doing that? I'll do it. <laughs> Everybody just went silent. <laughs> yeah, everyone went real quiet. <laughs> You're going to cut the wax? Yep. Should we melt the wax, maybe? I yeah, guess. I just cut it. You tell me Okay. You you're gonna cut the wax. Yeah. I will guide you just in case anything happens. You need to make a check. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting I have this. Okay, I feel one d four luckier. Yep. Ah. Uh, what is your um? AC. AC? Well, 18. I can't help with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> which also can't help with that. All right. Uh, oh, um, do you have your shield, Devin? Uh, I do have a, a shield spell left, yes. Um, so that takes you up to 23. 20, 
23. Okay, I will... This will exceed that. I just, I wanted to check. Oh. <laughs> I just check in. Okay. Um, I gotta roll. What's my sword doing, by the way? Is it screaming at me? This is the only time your sword has ever shut up. It has not made a peep. Since you came in here, even when you were fighting skulls. Oh, huh, okay. Maybe it's just cold and hibernating. It likes it in here. And it is nice that it's quiet, because usually it's screaming at you. Uh, Davin, as you cut the black wax yeah, that surrounds huh. the top of the jar, <laughs> um, a vaguely sinister looking uh, black cloud is released from the crack in the wax and uh, shoots directly into your face ah! so that's going to be 32 oh, points shit. of uh, force force, force. Ah! you still up? Yes. yes. Davin coughs a whole lot and drops the jar. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. All right. So you drop the jar, clinks to the stone with a kind of dull sort of. Frog seems unperturbed, although since the jar is on its side, now the frog is on the side of the jar. Uh, items. The jar attacked me. <laughs> Is the jar open? No, the jar did not open. No. Um, the frog is fine. The jar didn't break when it hit the stone. Uh, everyone, please make a perception check. No. I don't see with my eyes. Mother. Kern, save us. Please. Only if you beg. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Kern, you hear the very, very sound of a, uh, a highly amused laugh reverberating <laughs> from somewhere. It doesn't seem to originate in this room. Um, it's got definitely a, uh, a sort of echoey quality to it. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you, you. Is a cackle. Almost. It, um, it's highly amused. Highly amused. Uh, it's not quite a cackle. It starts out real low, and then after a couple seconds of Kern hearing it, the whole party can now hear it, where it, it sort of has gotten into that that throw of laughter, um, where it can't quite contain itself. So, what does this person's voice sound like? Is it like difficult to tell? Like when it. It's not overly high pitched. It's it's very medium ranged, and it is laughing so up, and gets really loud and kind of harsh. But then it, it dies back down. It only lasts about thirty seconds, um, but there's definitely a, a mixture of very sharp laughs and uh, a background of of almost a giggle, but definitely not high pitched. Uh, yeah, laugh it up. Why don't you? I'm gonna kick you in the. Shins. Maybe we should melt the wax off this thing. Yeah, I'm in favor of that plan. There are candles all over this place, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, quite let's a just, few. Quite a few candles. Let's just set up the jar above a candle and walk away from it. So that we fry the toad inside. Just add the wax. Also, the or toad we, seems or can, fine. Or we can light a really long stick and put it on its side, and then, you know. Yeah. That way. I'm in favor. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah we're okay. melting away. All right. So you're setting up a fire. Then you're going to set the wax end by the fire so the jar is on its side. Yeah. Nowhere near oh, the area, kick? the area of you know the black poofy smoke stuff. 
So that okay, so a different area. Yeah, yeah. Not that you can really even tell anymore, since the wax seemed to have healed itself immediately from the cut. Um, but, okay. So you're just going to set that up on the floor? You can put that up on the table? Yeah, we'll put it on the floor. All right. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, it does, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. All right, so you're you're setting that up on the floor. Uh, you've got your small fire going, and waiting for the max to well uh, melt. It does seem to be doing that, although at a very very slow rate. So it might take a minute. We have a minute. Do you want to check out? Meantime, the you have a pig on a leash. I love my pig. How long does that last? I should probably find out. <laughs> 24 hours! I've okay, alright. That pig's your buddy. Alright. <laughs> He's my pig and I love him. I love him. <laughs> Why don't I we go and love him? We can check out the other room while we're waiting on the wax. We should definitely have someone keep their eye on it, though. Otherwise, it will be gone when we come back. Hildreth can do that. Hildreth can do that. Animals. <laughs> and eating All them, right. probably. Hildreth will watch the So, Hildreth is going to watch your pig for you. No, we're... By the, the room of pig. The jar, the the jar yeah. Pig. Oh, watch the jar. The pig is coming with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, He's okay. my friend. All right, so Hildris is watching the jar. Um, you guys are moving on to the room to the north? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Into the room to the north. This room, uh, you do sort of have to wingle wangle your way through this little hallway here. Uh, because of our play. Wingle wangle. Uh, it cuts very, very sharply, and it is only large enough for one person at a time. Or one skull, as this case may be. <laughs> uh, so, it, um, which leaves you unable to see the room until you actually round the corners. Unlike here, where you can see up to the north, where you can see a straight shot inside. Uh, this one, you actually have to wait until you get to the doorway. Who would like to go first? Since it is a, a I guess I file. will boldly go or no not me boy. this time. I will follow behind Kern and <laughs> then my boar. Alright, so we got Kern, Lana, the boar. I know that the stay behind and have to step away for a sec. Okay. And dab in and then Sin will take up the rear. Okay. So you make your way, turn the corner, and catch a glimpse into the uh, sort of the great hall. All right, great timing. Um, before we start the great hall, what time is it? Uh, it's about two thirty. Uh, Sin, didn't you need? Mm hmm. Didn't you need to take a break? Yeah. It doesn't have to be right okay. this second. But... Well, it's also an hour and a half into the recording. Okay. So you want to break uh, we here? We can go a little further if you want. It's a question. I know you needed to take a break, and I know you need to break for the recording. But if you guys want to do this room first, we certainly can. I'm just okay. offering. Well, you guys are going to be okay. finish the floor, yeah. pretty much. So Okay. So, I will describe this room main hall of the first floor there are two thrones to the left one of which sits a skeleton uh dressed in decently regal attire from what you can tell um the room is lit by a massive chandelier that hangs from the ceiling uh the chandelier looks slightly bizarre um, go ahead and make a perception check, Kern, since you're leading the pack here. Oh, crap. I'll stop drawing my skeleton. Oh, just for a second. And then you go uh, back to drawing your skeleton. 19. Okay. 
Uh, not too bad. Uh, it is, uh, like I said, uh, fairly sizable. Uh, but what's kind of catches your attention most is that the center part of it, the part where you would normally have just sort of a wrought iron circle and the chains that secure it to the ceiling, uh, it seems to be filled in like it's a, 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 a full ball of something. So it's like um, a very the, heavy chandelier as opposed to like... It's it's completely solid. It's not uh, the usual wrought iron rings that you're used to seeing. It's solid and it doesn't look like it's metal. Um, it looks like it might be cloth or leather. Ooh. But from this far away, because it's fairly high up. And same thing with the, uh, the tendrils that hold the candles. You can see the light coming from the candles. You can see where they're held. But the sort of the spokes that come out of the central ball um also seem to be again leather or cloth and uh much thicker than you're used to seeing in chandeliers like they're they're pretty massive uh to the point where several candles can fit along the uh the length of them and they're wide enough that the candles sit comfortably uh it uh it's a very bizarre chandelier um from what you can see. And again, uh, the light it gives off illuminates the skeleton on the throne, wearing tattered, but still, you know, regal outfit. Um, they have a metallic crown of some sort, like a solar flare type crown. Nice. Uh, that's obviously dulled in the light. Um, it's probably not gold. It's probably brass or copper, judging by the color. And uh, in the center is the large font that you saw when you entered. Yes. Regular ish in shape. Uh, there are two of the ice figures in here, one immediately next to the throne. Uh, and this one is actually frozen in a kneeling position, which is the first one you've seen like this. All the others have been standing. This one is kneeling. Uh, and appears to be uh, holding out their hands as if they're offering something to the throne. Um, but as far as you can tell, their hands are empty. And then you have the one next to the pillar here. They're pushing against the pillar in sort of a, a Sisyphus position. Um, like they're holding it up almost. Oh. On the far side... Yeah, stretching. On the far side, you catch a, uh, a swish of cloth. Uh, a deep red color that's trimmed in a more faded green. And judging by the way it catches the light, there's some sort of metallic thread in it. Which was 19. Okay. Uh, you can hear from that side of the room. It's, it's very, it's very faint, but it, it sounds like a, a jingle metal upon metal, like the jingle of coins or somebody in ring mail. Yeah. It's uh yeah, it's metal on metal. There's also massive tapestries that hang from the walls and from the pillars. Uh, these stairs are here, so this, this dais is raised. And along the far wall, again, you can see a massive tapestry that stretches across the entirety of that wall and what appears to be floor to ceiling in a variety of, of colors. It's sort of a mishmash from all the way over here. Uh, as far as the design goes, but it's got some pretty vibrant colors to it. Uh, it does catch the light, so there's some metallics in there as well. Um, yeah, it's it's huge, though. It's easily ten times the size of any other banner or tapestry in this room. Uh, so this, like, flash that I saw, I guess it's over here, right? It's a, yeah, it's just a little, yeah, a little flap of cloth that you saw as it sort of disappeared behind this pillar up here. Okay, so it's like somebody had basically like run, run behind. Someone them. had walked behind, or yeah, or was hiding, or yeah, was in some other way removing themselves quickly uh, behind that pillar. It's just sort of a little, a little uh, flap of fabric. All right, just kind of hold everybody up. Uh. Can I see that still, or is it, like, completely behind? You haven't seen the cloth emerge yet, but it's only been a few seconds. 
it was it was a very quick little thing uh, when you got to the door. I'll just be like, you want to wait and see if it comes out the other side. You can. Yeah, I'll wait for just a second. To uh, sort of bit a moment, um, you do see the cloak again about here as it gets back into your line of sight. Yeah. And it, again, same coloring. It does have gold uh, featured prominently in the cloak. Uh, what it does not have is a wearer. The cloak is actually a massive cape. Oh. There's no hood to it. Um, and it flutters gently as it moves of its own accord. The only other item in its vicinity that seems to be moving along with it is a coil of uh, what you would recognize as a spike chain, uh, a weapon, a spike oh. whip. And that's what was making the slight jingle noises is the swaying of the chain knocking into itself as it moves again in the middle of thin air, but in close proximity to the cave. Um, walking at a again a, a walking speed, basically a moderate speed, as it sort of rounds this pillar and uh, begins moving towards you, but not towards you, but just in your direction along this path like here. Patrolling, um, possibly, yeah. It, again, walking pace, um, just sort of of fluttering slowly in a downward path I'm really tempted to do something eh. do it hello we are here to view the tapestries <laughs> <laughs> whatever um the the cloak and uh and spike chain continue unabated okay Okay. Uh, same pace. Right. Kyra, what was that? Sorry, something just. What accent was that? I, I knew it was supposed to be Scottish, but I don't know what it was. Okay, but what's Scotland? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> um, there's a. There's a cloak and a whip going around here. It's, or a cape and a whip. Might be an invisible person. I don't know. They're coming around here. Lana, you can see, you have sight yes. beyond the sight. You might be able to see better. Uh, they should be coming around about now? <laughs> yep. <laughs> So Lana presses into the room in time to see the, the cloak and attendant spike chain make its way past the statue, rounding this corner. Uh, in a very like three-point turn kind of thing, where it comes down here, it backs up, and then it turns. And mm -hmm. appears to be like within a minute of walking directly into you, um, Lana. Oh. You don't. All you see is a floating cape and spike chain approaching me rapidly. Approaching? No. Again, at a walking speed. Gotcha. Um, does not does not alter its pace in any way. Uh, guys. Yes. Why? It should we like move? Probably. Gonna... Into the center of the room. Maybe? Yeah. Sure. Let's do that. Okay, yeah. let's hustle. <laughs> you guys sprint to the center of the room. Excuse me, um, invisible Zyla? person. I'll stay. You um, you're gonna poke the thing. This this thing is just going around the perimeter of the room. Far, it hasn't seemed to be aggressive. Um, you were kind of in the rear, so this is the first look you've gotten at it. But yeah, it, it's again, it's not moving quickly. Um, it, it doesn't seem to make any noise other than the chain jingling against itself. Um, it has yet to stop or in any other way acknowledge your presence. I'll just observe from the edge of the room. All right. Uh, Lana, are you going to the center as well? Yeah. Sorry, I just forgot to move. 
that's all right. I'm just making sure I, I'm aware. So then you can watch it in its glory as it walks past you in the doorway. Uh, again, We're fluttering behind it. I'll just let her go. And now that just let it go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now that you guys are in the center of the room, you can make another perception check if you'd like. Is detect magic pinging on anything, by the way? Like, you know, the deeply suspicious crown. Detect magic doesn't seem to ping a whole lot in here. Yeah, I think um, even for things suppress that it. are very odd and would clearly be magical to you, <laughs> they they don't seem. Yeah, to, time to uh... use the old method. All right, um, Kern and Davin, as you stare up at the chandelier, um. Davin is the one to piece it together. The chandelier looks weird because it is weird. Uh, it is a massive beholder. What? <laughs> the largest uh, yes! <laughs> what? And just, like, the largest in beholder you have ever seen <laughs> in your life. Absolutely <laughs> huge. It is it is as it is it takes up a good probably you know 10 foot diameter just in the body in the center of this main chamber uh where it appears to be to be suspended um with candles running long it's stretched out little arms that are also suspended from the ceiling i love it um every now and again you'll see one of the arms twitch no. You can hear the sway of the chain as it does it. It's very, very faint. You have to be underneath yes. it. Yes. But what? it. No, no, yeah. you refuse to acknowledge its exists. What the crap? <laughs> <laughs> so. There's that's that. <laughs> yeah, you rolled a crit fail. You're you're staring mm, down the uh, skeleton with the pretty crown. Um, go ahead and and roll a, a separate. Uh, actually, roll knowledge religion, Lana. Oh boy, I'm not good at that. You're not okay. So yeah, um, this skeleton is wearing expensive looking clothing and a uh, pretty cool solar flare type crown um there's some religious insignia yeah. uh, clearly uh it does wear a symbol uh, it's not one that you immediately recognize and it's lovely clothes while beginning to fade uh, are heavily embroidered with various symbology that doesn't mean a whole lot to you you can't commit blasphemy if you don't know what it is right <laughs> I, I don't think it works like that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It. I'd like to take its things. Okay. You would like to take its crown? Yeah. Detect magic the old fashioned way. I imagine okay. this is right Can about I? when Davin says something about the beholder. La, it's like one la, second la. too late. <laughs> huh? What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, the the uh, above chandelier eyeballs. Yeah, it's a cool design. No, 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 no. It's a uh, beholder. Snap. But <laughs> frozen. <laughs> and I don't think it. it sees us, but maybe if we touch too many things, it will. <laughs> As Lana yanks. A crown from the head of the skeleton, which immediately starts to crumble, um, starting with the feet, actually. Um, the bones start to become ashen 
and then dust as if they're being burned by a fire you can't see or feel and it travels up the body disintegrating it uh, leaving the skull for last it takes but a few seconds for that entire process and the skull itself as it falls having nothing left to support it its jaw hinges open and you all hear an absolute bone chilling scream and please make me wisdom saves each and every one of you no yes <laughs> oh wow my wisdom save is awful <laughs> really <laughs> that could have been better could have been better oh no oh wow you guys are boned <laughs> to get it the skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're fucked. I know. <laughs> Fucking paladin. <laughs> Listen, take that up with your god. She's looking for a new oh, one, to be fair. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I seem to be divorced, god. I, I mean, I, I, I think I should. Die. I think I should re-roll this, probably. How much is the bard die? I believe you it's a d10 now. Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll okay, this. Okay, 22. I'm gonna re-roll this Good luck. one. Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and luck saves the day, I guess. Yes. <laughs> yes, are you sure? Yes. All right. Yes. I mean, the saving the day is up to you. Like, I'm already burning it. It could be a DC like 30 for all I know. Well, it's generally not a good thing to um, touch stuff, but because you've touched stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. There was no indication. There's no indication. Um, that is two points damage. Um, I heard two. Um, you... Yeah, I heard two as well. Oh, no, 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 no. I think it's no, two. No, no. I think we got to go with what you say the first time. 52? <laughs> no retcons. Uh -huh. Did you say 52? What? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, okay. When you say five, two, you mean seven, right? <laughs> Yeah. No, I mean, wait, no, I'm not. I have four. I have four hit points. I can do um, math. Half. Hold on. How? It's psychic damage. You said. It is psychic damage. Holy ow, shit. my brain. Oh, I should use divine yeah, sense to see if that thing brain. was undead. Whoops. Is that everybody? Oh, we're so past the big. That the... is everybody, Gerd. Uh, Hildreth, who we left behind? Yeah, Hildreth is still in the goblin room, according to the map. Yeah. Well, no, he's oh, watching no, the No, in reality, he's in the kitchen. Yeah. In in reality, he's in the kitchen watching the, the fire and the frog. I have uh, Yes, he would, he would take he that. Okay? Oof. Uh, well, um, to see, but I'm, I, this is a fairly high DC. I'll give it to him, but yeah, he, he would take the whole 52. He's up with one. Jeez. If he went unconscious and we didn't know. Bye. So, everyone's still up after that? Yes. I have four hit points. Somehow. Yes, I've got four too. So I took I that could. even with okay. a 26. Jeez. Even with a 26, yes. Yes. Unfortunately. Jesus. Um... Y yeah. So to describe the experience that just happened to you, uh, as, <laughs> as Lana <laughs> um, grabbing the crown and, and as the screen echoed through the halls, um, you, it's, uh, it's cold and fire all at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, even closing your eyes, all you can see are images of you know, uh, people being burned 
and uh, there's a, a very definite sense of, of dread and pain and it's uh, actually pretty pretty overwhelming clearly um, it's it's a very deep-seated fear underlying anxiety attack and you can't breathe your skin burns your brain freezes it's a uh, it's a feeling of being alone and being hunted and being frightened that you'll never see the sun again. And it fades and leaves you gasping for breath and doubled over. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. I'm ready for a short rest now. Yeah. I, yeah. Is there anything we'll attacking us? Nothing else has changed that you can tell. Uh, nothing in this room has changed. I'm sh Let's do it in the kitty room. That's a nice room. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you leave the Grand Hall. I guess we check on Eldrith too. Okay. Make sure he's yeah, okay. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, no, the crown the is intact. Guitar. This better the be a also intact. fucking awesome magic item. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the frog is intact. The jar is intact. Hildreth is up with one. Um, the crown is fine. The beholder is twitching, but in place. Okay. You're gonna beat feet to the kid room. Retreat. Uh, kid. let's rest in the room with the okay. jar that we're waxing, so we can keep an eye on it. The kitchen. Yeah. What if the jar attacks us again? Then that will suck. I don't want to get. I don't want to get killed by kitchenware. We'll rest on the other side of the real, like other wall. Yeah. We'll 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 make sure we're out of range of it. The black smoke poof stuff. Okay. <laughs> but, but just in case we need to get out, we ha you should leave the door ajar. Uh, nice. Ha <laughs> ha Ow, ow, it hurts to make jokes. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> All right, so we are taking a short rest in here. Yep. Can I check out the magic that... ring okay. as well? Like while we're yes. doing our short rest? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do our ritual Ass identifies and stuff. Assorted attunements. Okay. Um, well, how about we take our break now? You guys are doing your short rest, and then when we come back, I can educate you on your newfound items. Uh, preemptively, do we successfully uh, rest just so I can start rolling hit die? Oh, yeah, go ahead, roll your hit die, take your hour. Um, do your recovery <laughs> hit die. the way you said that here uh, is like oh yeah you're gonna need this yeah yeah go <laughs> ahead yeah. yeah please do please do um you know yes take take a short rest recover what you can recover um attune to what you attune if uh anyone who hasn't searched the kitten kitchen would like to search the kitchen while you're resting and stuff that's fine um but yeah, whatever you guys need to do, go ahead and uh, we'll take a, a quick break and then we'll come back and we'll talk about your newfound party favors and see where the adventure takes us. <laughs> um, so while everyone was resting and attuning and identifying, etc., cetera, et cetera, did anyone want to investigate the kitchen further? We'll deal with that yes. first. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, One first thing. Oh, yes, I'll do that too. Did Let's you guys get the frog jar open? open? Witcher. 20. Um, 20. All right. The frog jar is still, it's not quite open yet. It's, uh, the wax is maybe softening, but it is taking some time. Okay. Oh, it is unfortunately still sealed. Oh, uh, what was the first thing you wanted to do? That was it. Check on the frog jar. Otherwise, I want to poke on these frogs. Plants. Poke the plants. Poke the plants, she says. Give me a second. Have you not learned anything? 
I mean, like, her rifling through. categorize them, not just eat them. Though I would do that, too, if you weren't watching. <laughs> uh, you start to sort of look your way through the plants. Do you know anything about nature? Uh, I don't believe any more than what bards just, get. I was going to say, so basically bard. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and, and roll I have nature. a plus four. Fifteen? That's not bad. Um, some of these you you recognize, uh, mostly from Lily. Uh, just in her, yeah, I'm not trying to get this. Um, just you know through her experimentation and and collection and and long nights of nattering over notes and things that you were half paying attention to. Uh, some of them are local ish. They don't grow this far north. Uh, but they would not be out of place in Greylock. Some of them are actually from much further south. They're actually from home. Uh, things that you would recognize from Estrasy. And uh, mm -hmm. much more uh, warm climates than this one. But they all seem to be uh, normal-ish. Uh, they are a little off-color, but they're also really, really green really vibrantly green even though there is zero sunlight in this mm. room so while they are beautiful and and certainly look healthy they also look unnaturally so mm. and there are a, a combination of drying leaves and some flowers too some of them even still have uh, a smell to them there's some roses and and lavender and lilac things that you would uh, most people would recognize offhand um that while they are drying uh, to still smell as if they were growing hmm Well, disclosure, I don't know what to make of any of this. And um, other things in the kitchen. And there was the pie saver boxes. Pie saver? Yeah. Like the saved boxes pie? Put pies in. Yeah. I would like to open Not those. Like, yeah, they're just there to keep bugs out. Oh. Keep them warm and keep bugs out. Okay, so they are for storing pies. They are. They are for. They are That's specifically for thing. storing pies. I love that. What's yes. inside of these ones? And I assume it's not pies. pies. Really? No, no, they're pies. That's yeah, nice. pies. Yeah. And they're not made out of like uh, human flesh or anything. They're just pies. Looks like they're made out of apples. They're they're open lattice kind of pies. So they're you know the crisscross guys, but it's got they've got big gaps to it. It's not a tight weave or anything. So you can see the insides. And it just looks like fruit pies. Like those. There's a big jar of candy, uh wrapped candies very brightly colored like you would see at a fair um uh -huh. there's some there are a few dishes and plates there's no none of them seem to match one another uh there are also several goblets most of them appear to be brass or lesser metals but one is pewter and then there is one that is silver and seems to be uh much more highly decorated than the others it's mm -hmm. it's got a much finer craftsmanship to it and it is decorated with leaves and insignia and uh, what might have been places for gemstones, little inserts for gemstones, but the gems have long been chipped away. Mm -hmm. Crap, mm. no spell components. That is, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, there are some mushrooms like on top where the things that are planted, there are some planter boxes on the upper shelves that seem to have mushrooms in them that are different from the uh the leafy stuff which is more herbs and and flowers and ivies <clears throat> but there, there are mushrooms up there oh yeah so, yeah we're taking all those mushrooms so we can go we should take yes. Balls. yes exactly so you take your mushrooms um wait did i hear bring mushrooms? the mushrooms there are mushrooms on the shelf yes. i will touch the mushrooms i'm gonna taste a mushroom 
No, no, we need them for spell components, okay. Island. No, we need these for magic. <laughs> all of them. Yes, Time all up. of them. What if they're it's a... magic mushrooms? That's even like better. I mean... They're worth more. <laughs> well, I'll lick a mushroom. Uh... All right. Are you gonna pluck it out of its box and lick it? Yep. Oh, okay. God. Um, can you can you roll initiative? Silent. Oh, okay. Mr. Boss <laughs> <laughs> trying to stop him. <laughs> oh no, it's not for you guys. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay. You win initiative. Um <laughs> Against the mushroom? Yeah, so you pluck a mushroom. You pluck this mushroom, and it's a it's a big toadstool looking thing. It's big and, and uh it's it's about the size of your palm. It's enough that, that you can you know, wrap your hand around the, the sulk of it when you pick it up. Um and it starts to vibrate in your hand. And uh yeah, it, it, it seems to be distressed at being removed from its planter box. Uh, you have one turn. What would you like to do with it? I will throw it back where I found it. Back in its box? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, Mushroom starts to uh, scream. But lay and in surround sound. Uh, continually. It starts to shriek. Fucking mandrakes. <laughs> <laughs> and now that it has begun, all the other mushrooms in the planter start to do the same thing. So you've got about a dozen of these mushrooms stuffed in this planter that all start to scream simultaneously and like high pitched child choir type screaming, uh, discordant and not all at the same time. So it's a ripple effect uh, <laughs> as they all start to have freak outs in, in their planter. <laughs> ah, so that's a thing. Um, silence. Silence spell? Silence. Okay. You cast silence on the uh, the planter and you are now spared from the child's choir from hell. As uh, the mushrooms continue to vibrate in their box, but you can't hear anything. Go to sleep, you awful little things. Okay, are we good? Can we move on? Before well, we, something else kills us. Should we smash them while they're silenced? N no. Let's just go and well, finish can they still be used for magic? goodies. Because if, hmm? yeah. if they can't be used for magic, we might as well smash them. They seem vaguely sentient. I don't know how I feel about that. Smashing seems like a go-to option for you whenever something's not useful. Um, that seems a little bit reductive of my process. <laughs> but am I wrong, though? Well, what do you want to do with them? Like, eventually the silence is going to wear off, and then we're going to have to listen well, to them. We might as well smash maybe them while they're quiet. Maybe they'll have calmed down in ten minutes if we leave. I don't think they're going to calm leave. down. All right. Okay. Um, before we leave rest period, then you've investigated the kitchen. Uh, you guys were tuning to your items. Well, well, and Correct. trying to figure out what yes. they're doing. Trying to figure out what they are. One and the same. Are you attuned to your crown? Yes. 
Good I'll look job. at the ring, I guess. Are you tuning to it? You I am... try it on, or are you just gonna look at it? I want to find out what it is before I put it on. You or anyone else want to use identify? Only Zion says identify it. until I take a nap. Yeah, I can cast it as a ritual if you want. Sure, that would okay. be that'd be nice. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, it is a ring of resistance. Oh, Ooh. ring of resistance. I just assumed to all damage. Automatically half everything. Yes, it's the, <laughs> area. that's the way it works. Yes, you do have to attune to it. What kind of resistance? Um, all you get is an abjuration. Um, you know it has a, a in, in game terms it has a modifier of two. Uh, but I won't tell you. The plus two to your AC. Whoa. Plus two to your AC? That's all right. That is not what I thought that was. Yeah, that sounds real good. Real good. Yeah. Uh, so like, you're gonna use it because if if you're not gonna, you know, I mean, I can, and I can bump my AC up even higher, or we can give it to squishier people. I can't believe I'm doing this because he's not even here, but Hildra's AC is horrible. <laughs> yeah, but he also has a he also has. A pet. He's not supposed to be in the front lines, and if unless we That's fair. make him learn that the hard way, he's never gonna learn. <laughs> there, I should roll this. Hit, right? Tough love, Kern. <laughs> Wait, fucking witches have a D8 hit die? That's bullshit. Oh no, they might not. They, Thanks for reminding they me. Do. Oh, I thought they did. Do they not? Um, his, his, his character sheet says D4, so that's clearly wrong. <laughs> Either way, he rolled pretty high. I'll just bring him mostly to max. Because that's 51 there. Oh, yeah, but those are D8s. Eh. So, like, if you're not going to use it, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Devin, uh, you can have it. Yay, thank you! <laughs> now you're almost as hard to hit as I am. Almost. What's your AC these days, Devin? Uh, 18, before the ring. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Alright. And I get hit a lot, so that'll be helpful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. These are good loot. Well, that was good loot. The other thing I got is probably cursed. Oh, oh, mo most definitely it's cursed. It is cursed to hell and back. <laughs> <laughs> Davin took the ring? Is yeah, that what I heard? Davin has the ring. I, Do you want it back? You, I feel no, bad now. No, it's fine. It's fine. You sure? You spent all that time identifying it? Well, I mean, I spent all that time talking Xyland into identifying it. Yeah, I actually spent the time <laughs> We're going to send Xyland at the heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to be accurate here. Okay, I mean, like, you, you can have it if you want. I, I, oh, I feel bad no, now. No, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Oh. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just Are you laugh. mad at me, Karen? I'm not mad at you. Just I'm not mad at you. Really, I'm not. You sound like you're mad at me. I'm not. I'm, not. I'm mad at you. <laughs> yeah, but you have, like, magical sword and everything already. Plus, you have your whole helmet deal. I on. made this helmet. You can make your helmet anytime you want. Just <laughs> learn how to make a helmet. <laughs> Fine, teach me. No. <laughs> All right, then no. Yeah, yeah right. it's fine. It's fine. 
All right. It's all good. Davin has the ring. The more people with higher AC, the better. I say. Honestly, just remember I'm when I'm bleeding out and you have no more healing left. This just remember this moment. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> What is your AC now? Stacy's twenty-one. God damn. Mine is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah mine's twenty now. Yeah. Oh, 20, okay. oh, Yours is twenty-one already, Kern. Twenty-one. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. You big baby. <laughs> I did have shield more regularly um, than Kern did, but oh well. You do have shield, but so you have an at will AC twenty-five, right. Devin. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. All right. Was that the only magic items that we were working with? Was the crown and the ring? I think that's it. That's Unless the so. journals are magical. No, they don't seem to be. They just seem to be books. All right. So got that done. Davin's got the ring. Are you using the ring, Davin? You're gonna pocket it for now. I'm gonna put it on. Okay. Damn, this is like the fourth time she's asked if we're putting on the ring. I'm sure there's a reason, and I'm very eager to see what it is. Yep. It's going to bite off the sure finger. I believe that she's just asking to cover her bases for the one thing that will be cursed. Which Maybe is sure probably most what you definitely got. this crown, which Lana has already said that she has put on, like, without even identifying it. Are you wearing the crown, Lana? <laughs> I would identify it first if Silence is willing to help me ID it. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll identify yes. it. Another 10 minutes later. Right. Okay, <laughs> so another 10 minutes goes by as y'all are resting and playing with your trinkets and uh, checking out the kitchen. So, Xylan, you check out the crown. Uh, roll your religion as well. Oh. While you're I reserve the right not to tell these people what it is if it's something super cool. Then I will put it on. I hope you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Either you tell me or it goes on. Well, okay. those things are uh, mutually exclusive. Yes, that too. So you're identifying it, and um, you don't know about... The symbology that's on it it might be um, old or obscure and you're not the most you know book savvy religious scholar on the planet you're more of a rough and tumble learner um, I read books. Uh, so the, i know but not not necessarily religious books no so it doesn't like the writing doesn't mean a whole lot to you the symbols seem really old um you do recognize a um a motif that's been almost rubbed out on the inside of the crown as you're checking it out. Uh, it's fairly well worn. Um, the metal wasn't super strong and it's been worn by a lot of people. So the inside's been kind of smushed through the years of use. But the interior iconography is very much a twisted rose. Oh shit. Wait, I know this. Oh, Lear, no. Yeah, like, uh, wouldn't I know this? Wouldn't I put, be able to figure out the inside? Right yeah, now? the inside definitely. Yeah, the inside is identifiable enough. It's faded, but it's definitely the twisted rose. It's everything on the outside of it, the upper part of it. Um, that's really, it, it's either an older form of iconography or it's just one that you don't recognize. Uh, so the, the more obvious decoration, the more obvious religious writing doesn't mean anything to you but looking on the inside of the band of the crown uh that what little you can make out the twisted rose is close enough to lear it now it, yeah you can you can understand that that definitely helps um but the outside stuff not not quite so much so after you are finished with your over the full identify this crown uh, is imbued with religious magic. It's, it's abjuration. Abjuration and transmutation. Doesn't ping as magical, but it definitely has transmutation magic built in. 
Um, Transmutation is not curse magic. Yeah. <laughs> totally not. So, it does require attunement. I can do that. Or Actually, use, which I can we work out some kind of trade? Do I have anything you want? Um, no. Well, let's see. Let's see what I have. You, you haven't even have opened up my bag on, yet. You already have one thing on your head, Silent. I can That's wear this. True, you would be. Able to wear both. I don't. You would not be able to wear both. both. <laughs> no, you would not be able to wear both. Unfortunately. Oh God damn it! Okay, well, so I'll show if you want to trade I... for the helmet, I'm sure Lana will take the helmet. No, <laughs> that thing smells like oh, Light <laughs> Island mushrooms and sweat. I've also got like <laughs> some kind of hookah set up in there, so it smells a lot like uh, yeah. Frog say, smoke. He's got a hookah oh, right oh, 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 I hate that as a person. <laughs> see, see the thing. The thing though is like you, you know you don't want it. But you say that that's the only thing that you're going to trade, so that he has to be forced to say, no, you can have the crown, so that it puts you in a position of power. I'm, I'm standing right here, Kern. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm educating both of you so that you don't fall into these traps, and so that we can further, like, you know, do stuff in the future. With so other people, not among us. Fine. I can't tell what, what it does magically speaking, though. Good to know. No, all you can tell is that it's got abjuration and transmutation magic attached to it. But you don't know what it does. Okay, I want to give Kern a crack at the religious significance. See if he can do a religious check on it. Kern, take, no, an, ins take an inspiration. No, me no good at religion. <laughs> oh, Kern, are religion, you not trained in it, Kern? I know stuff about Esten, and that's about it. Hey, me okay. kind of good at religion, actually, so... Okay, you take an inspiration instead, Devin. Okay. I'm already knows. inspired by the ring. And the fact that Kern was so generous. Thank you, Kern. You're the best. I know. Oh. Roll the bardic. It's a d10. <laughs> Who wants to take it? Oh, my lord. Oh, my ah! god. Uh, <laughs> we suck at this. <laughs> it's alright, guys. Guys. It's all right. Mon is just going to be cursed, what? and I can prep remove curse tomorrow, so it'll be fine. All right. Yeah. Um, look, but Lana, I'll, I'm going to give this to you, but just if, let's say, Lyranel starts talking to you through this thing, I want to hear what she has to say. Yeah, I'd tell you. Okay. Here Wait, you hold on. Why? I'm curious. What? No, whoa, hold on. I need to dissect okay. this. You've been looking for a new god. Lyranel is not the one, in case that's what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm keeping my options open. No. <laughs> like everybody that we've been fighting has been Lyranel. Well, I'm thinking, well, you know my theory about Lyranel. About I how she and what's her face are the same person. Didn't, didn't I Sally debunk that? I'm not explicitly. <laughs> I think she just needs some time to digest my radical mode of thought. Was that also what you thought about her attraction to you? What's I'm not sure oh, I see the connection. Oh, <laughs> no. I'll just put my hand on Devin's shoulder. It's like it, it's a, it's okay. It's all right. It's, 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 it's okay. Um, Lana, they are the lawyers of the world. Evil. So yes. <laughs> Lana, if you turn evil, I will do my best to make sure that we knock you out with as little pain as possible, but no promises. I'm willing to take that risk. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> also, just for the record, could we keep this talk about me looking for another god on the down low? I mean, I'm not sure exactly. You do kind of tell everyone we run into. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Same thing with the smut, well. Well, that's, that's just me. Grennan doesn't take me seriously. If you guys start talking about it, you might <laughs> start giving me the side on <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. You want to hide it from Grenin. Yeah, can do. I'm used but, to hiding things from my god. Uh, that didn't go so well either. All right, we're rested. We've handed out our party favors. Um, 
Lana, are you wearing the crown? Or are you going to yes. keep it for later? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lana's wearing her crown. Uh, Davin mm -hmm. is wearing his ring. All right. Where would we like to go after our rest? No immediate well, backfire. Yeah, yeah, Lana's head doesn't explode. I think we're all just standing around waiting for oh, Lana to... No, no. Lana's head does not explode. Um, she does not physically change in any way. You don't feel any different. Uh, Lana, I don't know why you guys are so worried. You look guys. fabulous. So, hey guys, we should snatch the cloak in the chain whip from that. Invisible. I was thinking that. I do. I am kind of into both of those things. <laughs> Wait, what? You well, you just got a ring. I mean, you can have the chain whip. That makes sense. But I think the cloak is up for grabs. Yeah, no. I mean, you can you can take the cloak if you want. I already have this. I flat my shoulder cape. Added. I already have a cloak actually, but I could wear two. I Lana, guess. do you want a cloak? Uh, sure. She got the crown. Uh, Hildreth, do you want a cloak? Yeah, okay, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we going back into the beholder room? Um, Is that the plan? My follow-up to that was maybe we should move on and come back when we're sure Yeah. that would we'll be okay. Cause What's over here in this um, also cloaks room? Like, are there other cloaks in there? The yeah, there are. There are other cloaks, and that's the uh, dressmaker's doll that was dressed up in a blood spattered gown. It's where you guys got the ring. Oh, okay. Yes, everything else in the room. Uh, the, the dressmaker's doll was in the center. Everything else just looked like standard cloaks, uh, coats, things like that. Did we investigate it with Detect Magic? Mm hmm And True Sight. Okay. All right. Although so detect magic doesn't are, seem to be pinging, pinging properly, does not work very well in here. No. Yeah. So you guys are going to head towards this hall. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I think we should move on. For all right, before you maneuver, oops, you are in the kitchen. Um, just a little... everyone, please. Oh, where's my thingy? No! no. <laughs> oh, oh god no. damn it! No, oh, no! Not again! Please, no initiative. Pretty please. Let's go. Good. Look at all those! Did those flame skulls come back? Yes. Little oh, fuckers. I knew this was gonna happen. I was just hoping that Eerie uh, forgot about it. <laughs> Eerie does, does not forget. Why are the flame skulls coming have... back? Why because nobody back? cast detect ma d dispel magic on them. Oh fuck! And I wasn't gonna do that like outside of character because I know exactly. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit! Yeah. I was hoping that like your detect magic would pick up something, and I could have an excuse. No. To be like, yeah, I'm gonna gather all this stuff up and dispel the magic on it. But there was no. It does not work well in here, <laughs> as we I have know. noted. I know, Eerie. I know. That's why I was like, let's not take a short rest because <laughs> Tree Sight only has an but hour. But we did. <laughs> we were also we all did. at like two hit points. I know. We're about yeah, to get two again. That's not great. Okay. Um, David, you oh, have yeah, first yeah. initiative. As these guys, oh yeah, I roll for Hildreth. As uh, the two soul or the two skulls that you can see, the one out here just outside the kitchen and the one leading to the doll gladiator pit begin to. Ooh. Hildreth goes first. That he does. I was just gonna go first. Well, I was just gonna push um, after Devin. Which is fine. Okay. Well, either way, I don't really care. Um, I have to learn a spell so yes, these flame or these say. skulls work back to life. Begin to hover once again, wreathed in flame with eyes of burning coals. Uh, very angry at the interlopers who smashed them before. God <laughs> damn he it! He doesn't keep his spell slots. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. Um, but I don't. I don't know if he. I don't know how his spells work because he didn't put his. 
uh, caps on here. He only has, say, he has three spells remaining for each of the first levels, but doesn't have a spell slot total, and I hate it. It's Twinkie's security measure, so that nobody else can play Hildreth except for him. No one knows how to run him. I hate it! <laughs> I did him as you can. You guys are gonna need all the help you can get anyway. Um, alrighty. So, Hildreth. Hildreth's gonna push to go first, so I can read his wiki. Alrighty. Uh, go ahead, Devin. Son of a bitch! Uh, spread out again? Yes. Yeah. Um, let's see. I can't get past the flame goal that's right up above me, right? Cannot. No, because, yeah, it is too narrow a doorway to push past him. Same thing with the one off to the right. Both those doorways are currently blocked by skulls. Hmm. Okay. Your only option is the pig pen or south through storage. Uh, I'm getting ready to fireball tank again. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I'll just stand here with th this one flame skull here and unload on him. Yeah, but they haven't had a long rest, so I don't know if they get their spell slots back. to this man trying to <laughs> rule floor his way out of the fireball space. <laughs> I rolled a two, okay. <laughs> I know. That's bad. That's okay. real bad. Ready. No. Short sword. <laughs> Go ahead. Short sword. 16, does that uh, hit? Mm, no. Yeah, these things have stupid AC. They have AC and they have shield. Does a nine hit? As a reminder to those. No. As a reminder for those uh, who were not here last week, uh, technically you have seen these things in action. Uh, they have fireballs. They have uh, flaming sphere. They can blur themselves. Uh, they're very fast, and they do have shield. Okay, if that it's, doesn't hit, then how about this? That's not. No. That also does not. Yeah. Wait, None I have a thing that. for this. I can do this. Okay. All right, I'm going to use a sharpened attack on that. Uh, I don't know if... For I, 14 I, to hit? I, Davin, uh, Michael, I, I wouldn't use that since she kind of already said that she used shield on the attack. All right, never mind then. You can keep that. Yeah. Oh, not at all. Uh, and then, seeing as this has not worked, I am going to one, two, three, four, five, six, skadoodle, <laughs> scatter. Six skadoodle. Devin Skedaddle, Duncan Tail. The man. Uh, all right, Lana. All right. This is happening, I guess. Uh, uh, there's so there a skull in that corridor. Are you passing through them? Oh, I. if I can go around them, yes. Otherwise, no. They're soaked in green fire. I will refrain from walking through them, I think, even if I am a tiefling. Okay. That seems like a bad All idea. Right. I am going to upcast to Spirit Guardians because I'm pissy. That's Ooh. level three. That should be level five. Let me reroll. That's still bad damage. Fine. Fine. Um, 17 is save. I don't what's know why the, it's not what's the radius? save. It's 15 feet. Oh, so it hits everything. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. I figure um, the fire resistant tiefling should do it. Um. Is it safe for half? 
Day for half, yeah. On the on the start of their turn, yeah. At the start of their turn. All right. Well, that's coming up, so that'll be good. Oh no! Yay! They didn't roll a one. What do you mean? Um, to, they the have um, they have advantage. Oh. That's rude. They can still roll a one though. Just yeah, they can. They'd have to roll two of them, and that did not happen. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. They, one of them did, but he, he got advantage. Um, okay, so we're back to Hildreth. Ah, uh, Hildreth. So I did fix his sheet. Unfortunately, I did not learn a thing about how his class works. But uh, Hildreth was legally here last time. Do we know how these guys interact with cold damage? I think it's Oh, fine. he was having fun with cold damage. He was oh, perfect touch. Uh, most of the time, yeah. Uh, he was, I noticed he, was he has a heavily. cold breath attack, which is apparently a thing. Yes. All right, he's a dragonborn. There we go. Yes. Let's hit these two with that. Constitution. It is our constitution. That's going to be a fail, and that is a critical fail. Ooh. Yee. Look at him go. Good boy. And then he's going to run away. <laughs> he's going to run away. Oh, hi, Hildreth. Guys, we're, Hello. We're, we're we're bunching up again. But on the other side of a wall. Got it. Alrighty. Um, that's Hildreth. Uh, that probably is going to be great. Um, Xylan, are you still rolling your patches? Uh, uh, yeah, but I can do my turn. <clears throat> yeah, it's your turn. Okay, so, um, I guess I'll move up to this one. Can I, uh, okay. did you say something about the us being walled in somehow? Or we just can't get past them? Uh, there, you, you would have to walk through their space in order to... Okay. Uh, get past them, and they are wreathed in fire. No one has tried that yet, so it's, you don't know what would happen if you try to do that, but they are physically, in as much as they can, blocking the door. Okay. At least uh, the size. one on the north and the one to the east. Yeah, they're they're human-sized skulls, so it's not like they're blocking it head to toe. You could push past them, but you'd have to walk through the wreath of fire. I will um, attack. All right. With my sword. Okay. Do either of those hit? Yes, those will both hit. And since you weren't here for the last combat, I will remind you, uh, these are undead. You know that for a fact. Oh, so that's bonus on Divine, Divine Smite. Then. That would be a bonus on Divine Smite if you choose to use it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use uh, it. Just so you know. These things are pretty bad, eh? So I should okay. probably try but to yes, take them down as fast as possible, is what I'm getting here. Uh, the okay. last time they were up, uh, there were four of them, and they all cast fireballs in the same turn and about killed everybody. All right. So I, will I love them. Add Divine Smite to both my strikes if both connect. Um, both connect. Yep. So that's. 12 plus 14, uh, sorry, it's been a while since I've played it. It's okay. How much, let's see. Damage increases by 1d8, okay, for if they're undead. So that's one, that's two, and I add 2d8 to that. Oh my freaking god. It's, I'm sorry you do so much damage. We could do less damage, if you would like. Or that would make you feel better. No, no, I'm just, I've, it was rolled 20. Was um, oh, being a jerk, so that's yeah. 26 uh, magical slashing damage, plus... Uh, uh, 33, 42 radiant damage. So 26 Did plus 42 is 
Uh, 26 plus 42 is 68? Yeah. More than I did the one turn I one shot one, so. Yeah, it's you disintegrate it. Just take it down. Just won't. Okay. It's, it's done. Fire goes out. Loses all the color in its little eyes. Dead. You can't make me feel sorry for a flaming for skull. Matters to the floor, forlornly. That's one more fireball we don't have to deal with. Yay. And bonus action. Uh, I will... Let's see. Um, these fireballs, are they... Um, do we have to do saving throws to avoid them, or how does that work? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll cast Hunter's Mark on um, this first one over here. Boing. And let's see, I moved one, two. I guess I have to be in its line of sight, so I'll move back down here at least to cast Thunder's Mark. I might be able to get closer than that. Uh, to do 20. No, that's about it. OK, so that's my turn. All right, my turn. Let's see. What should I do? That's exactly what I'm going to do. To give up and go home. Give up and go home. That's it. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um. What's the range on that bad boy? Oh, perfect. All right, we're gonna back up. Just FYI, I'm rolling patches for my uh, cloak of useful items, and I've just rolled two iron doors. So we could theoretically back into the kitchen, and I could slap an iron door across here. How how about what we do is after we kill these things, we lock them in a room with an iron door so they can't bother <laughs> That's us. That's a anymore. good idea. <laughs> I agree. Like idea. Yes. Aww. Oh, and then if we don't like something, we can toss them into the room with them. Oh, that's yeah. awful. We throw okay. it all into the bone room and then shut the door with the goblin in there. No, no, that's terrible. No, I didn't say terrible. that. No, nope. that's terrible. Terrible. That's that's it. Lost your alignment. No. Um, all right, we're going to do a fireball in this location. So, Lana and. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Xylan. I think you're too far away, Kern. I think you're just, just too far away. Actually, we'll just center it on Xylan and get you what? in that mix as well no uh so xylan lana and kern can all do a dexterity save pretty please 15 um who lana and yeah lana you get a plus two to that yay 17 <laughs> hold up no no <laughs> not quite, <laughs> not quite. Oh, for fuck's sake it's okay <laughs> Oof. All right. Okay. Oh boy. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Hang on right. to your butts. <laughs> I've got this. <sighs> do you know? Do you really? Right. I mean, potentially. All right, guys. Here. Okay, that is thirty-one points of fire damage for those who failed. 15 for those who succeeded. I've again. I love being a tiefling. I've again for fire resistance. I still think I have more hit points than Lana, though. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> I take seven points. Eight. You're going to do that one more again. Oh, we're getting fireballed again? Times um, two. Let's go. Okay. So we're dexterity saving again. Twenty-four. Dexterity save again, please. I hate uh, these guys. Uh, 
Oh, for great. <laughs> oh, no. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> that is 35 for those oh, who failed. Oh, my God. 17 divided again for Lana. So, um, Who's dead? Eight. Oh, I took eight. Oh, no. There goes all my hit dice. Oh, there there goes all spent. my hit dice, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, it looks like we're going to have to go through Kern's drive through healing event again. Ah, I think so. I think that's coming. Um, okay, good. Um, Drift and um, Davin. Hi. It's your turn. Oh, come on. Okay. It's everywhere. Hildreth got a 17. Can I go? Okay. Oh, it's not your turn yet. No. Nope. Flame skulls. It should be, be it. Oh, I thought yeah. you were saying Gavin, Gavin and... As oh, in the, no, 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 no. It's their turn to get a fireball in the face. No, no, no. Oh, no. okay. It's, it's your turn to go in a second. Do you want to go in my place? I would love that. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, okay. is, this is fine. This is fine. I saved obviously Davin you did not 26 points of fire for those who failed obviously 13 for those who did not nice alright okay. good spell yeah it's a good spell okay um, that is it for the boys uh, it's your turn Okay. Nice. Yes. Nice. All Here's right. Your go. Uh, I am looking for a way out of this. Uh, no, I just need to look up the radius on okay. something real quick. Okay, thirty feet. Um, I can summon a robot. Forty. 40, 60, all right. I'm going to move. What? One, four, five, six. Uh, I think that should work. Yeah, that should work. I'm going to channel my divinity. Okay. There we go. Turn undead, because I'm pretty sure they're higher than CR2. They're indeed. Yep. Uh, I should hit all three of them. Yeah. Yes. And it's not a spell. It is not a spell. Nope. DC? Oh, yeah, that's uh, something that we need. Uh, Spell. 17. Away. Okay. Um, so sky. He spooked. He spooked. Mark the spooked ones. I don't even want to know what you just rolled at 96. I don't even want to know. It's just a window. Know. A window. Doors and windows. You could have a house. I got, I got pits and... Oh, be right back. Um, all right, so we've got two spooks. Uh, anything else? Uh, on, how on far did I, I want, might want to move back because I'm a scaredy cat. Yeah, I'll, I'll move back one thing. Yeah. I believe. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll step back one space. 
And that'll be my turn. I'm going to hold on to that. All right, back to the top of the round, which means it's down then. Okay. Um, I can't get through this one here, I believe. Not anymore. Uh, hmm. Also, if you hit any of them, they will not be scared anymore. Don't we have to beat them up eventually? Yeah, but I'm yeah. thinking we just do it like one at a time. Gotcha. A... I will point out one of them is going to get bashed at the start of its next turn because it's right next to me. Yes. So. Hmm. Yeah. So I guess focus on that one, maybe? I don't think I can get to it. You could attack it through the doorway. Okay. I think I'll do that. I'll go over it, here. It is within melee range. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Are, are you talking about the one up north? Yeah, I'm talking about the far one. Oh, just hit the one next to me. It's going to start okay, attacking us anyway. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you... Are you doing melee on that guy? Or which one? I'm very uh, I'll sure go to the one to. next to Lana and that go guy. melee it. Or attempt to, at least. movement to get that far? I should. I had enough movement to get from more or less there. Okay, so you can squeeze in. And then you're, I'm a... You're fine. No. It's not high enough. What about that one? Not high enough. No. Okay, well, it's not unscared at the very least. That's true. You have not connected, so it is not unscared. <laughs> okay, but what about this one? The with an action surge. Ha! Dodge that. that. Uh, okay, so it's going to take nine piercing plus an extra sixteen uh -huh. from a sharpened attack. So, 27 on that attack. And does a 15 hit? Yes. Was that a yes or a no? I didn't hear all of it. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, so um, in total, 36 damage. Kind of. And that is my turn. Um, Lana, what would you like to do? Hi. Uh, I'm going to walk through this flame skull, so just, like, you know, hit me with whatever happens for that. Okay. <laughs> um, make a deck save, please. Come on, Lana. You did well on these before. Don't mess it up now. <laughs> uh, still near Island. Fine. I'm still near Island. Perfect. Our... I would be when I was walking through the thing. Well, it's 10 feet, so. Never mind. 16 is fine. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, I'll just... dodge. Okay. I'll preemptively roll Spirit Guardians for when that comes up. Okay. That's better. 22. Um, and I'm also going to. Stab this guy? <laughs> Question mark? No. Uh, no. No. All right, I'll just sort of stand here. And okay. Here. <laughs> All right. I don't care about no fireballs. Sort of stand there. That's true. I know. And and they'll take twenty-two. Doesn't, uh, on their turn. doesn't bother you as much. Yes. Not the one that's frightened, though. That one can keep doing its own thing. 
okay. So he'll just mark himself. Alrighty, that's fine. Um, Hildreth. Right, I'm also Hildreth. Hildreth, uh, come join the gang up here. Can he fire at this thing? He fire? Uh, chill touch. Um, he, no, he can't. That's a nine. Even without the, the that, gang. That won't connect. He will then go away. Okay, he's gonna go away. I see. All right. Um. Alrighty. So Hildreth is done. That means Zylan is up. Um. Right. So uh, is there only one left? This one over here? No, there's no, the three. two that are marked with a little face have been um, have been turned by Kern. Oh, okay. um, Th this one's they, gonna stop being afraid. turned, so you should hit it. Okay, can I squeeze past uh, Kern and Davin and get? Can um, in order to attack it, you'd have to get behind it, which you can do. Fine. You'll just have to dodge a little bit of fire. How much fire? Do I have to roll anything? Yeah, roll your decks and we'll find out. Uh, saving throw? Yes, please. Ha ha! I All skipped right, nearly right. past it. And then smite it. You did it the, the last battle, too. You leapt over a flaming sphere in that hallway and came through unscathed. <laughs> <laughs> this must be your lucky hallway. Uh, does one of those hit? Both of those will hit. Oh, both. You sit you. Has this one been hit before? It's been swung at. But it hasn't been hit? It has uh, been hit. I mean, it has taken damage. It has not taken damage. Yeah, it hasn't taken damage this round. But yeah. How much damage did it take? I gave it like 36. Okay. It's a lot of damage. Yeah. I'll just... Hold yeah, off my last event yeah. smite then. Davin beat the holy hell out of it. Yeah, yeah. it shouldn't be necessary. Davin 20, just wrecked it. Two magical slashing. But it doesn't have that much fight left in it. Rest. Goodbye. In sphere. As it once again clatters to the stones below. So do these just turn into regular skulls once we... Ah, yeah, the fire the goes out, their eyes go out, and they just drop to the ground as regular regular, regular humanoid skulls. We should throw them in the corner with the... Uh... Actually, no. I don't want to use two doors. We should find a room that we're not going to be going in again that only has one door and throw them on there. Actually, throw them in with the goblin. No! Originally, What if the skulls actually came from the bone room? <laughs> Anyway, that's my turn. Okay. Um, all right. It's skulls. Um, that. I don't know if this guy can move or not. I think I've got him trapped in a corner. The, the guy in the bottom? Yeah, he yeah. can't. Yeah. He's stuck. <laughs> he can't go anywhere. Um, but he can do this. We're gonna drop a flaming sphere right there. I don't know if he can. Uh, that's why he's here. For, for its action, it can only use dash action or try to escape effect, preventing it from moving. If there's nowhere to move, the creature can use the dodge action. Okay. So it's he stuck. Sucks. All right, so okay. he's stuck. This guy's not, so he'll do it instead. Yes. Yes. He takes do that. twenty-two. Yes, I took his twenty-two. Twenty-two. Good. And now I roll. Which? Damn, Lana! Lot. No. Did you get plus two? Whatever. Oh, that'll help. Yep. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> -ha! Um. Right. Uh, let's see. That is. Um, Eight damage. 
um, half half if you if you're thirty eight, and half if you're one. Holy crap! <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you points. guys think I said? Thirty eight. No, 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 no. Oh, um, what, what did you say then? Eight. Half of that, if you're. Oh, okay. So it's four. Is it out of fireballs? Poor thing. Oh no! Don't don't start putting it now. <laughs> it's not as powerful. It's just a flaming sphere. The only bad thing is it's persistent. It doesn't. It's not a one and off. Oh, we're it's, gonna it's still it. there. What's we're the range? Not very far, unfortunately. Um, five feet. Yeah. Sphere right there. Five feet, did you um, say? It is persistent. Yeah, five feet. So basically, okay. if you stop, if you end your turn next to it or try to pass through it, you'll take damage. Okay. For as long as he can keep up concentration. Okay. Get back here, you little fuck. Running away. Exactly. <laughs> it's Kern's turn. Go, Kern. Sorry, so I, I, I forgot. I forgot I, I was muted. Oh. No. I, I muted for a second. Oh, that's okay. I thought my roommate came in. That's uh, fine. I. I thought it was disconnecting. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this one pinned down here so that it can't do anything. Uh, right. mm -hmm. In that case, I know everybody is kind of hurt and would probably like some healing. So, uh, how much? How much are people down by? I'm down to. I know yeah. you're down like 60 something. Yeah, I'm down 70 hit points. Yeah, me, me too. I'm like down that much as well. I'm uh, down 30. Okay. All right. Uh, I will step back a quick moment, even, even though I don't know if Hildreth has taken any damage or not, until I can see Hildreth over there. And then I will dump a fifth level we like uh, you everybody gets 21 hit points I'll take it Ooh. wow thanks yeah we like our cleric see if I didn't take the average on all those hit points I'd be dead and wouldn't be able to do this but at least you wouldn't be shamed. <laughs> An honorable death. <laughs> and then I'll step back to the exact same place I was so that I can keep this thing not moving. Oh. And that will be my turn. E, awesome. Hey. Um. Then I'll leave. Go back taking down this skull to you guys. <laughs> okay. It is... Seven's turn. Damn it, stupid thing is trying to run away again! Let's see. I'll move up to chase it. Dropping my sword and drawing a bow so I can shoot it in the back? Not oh. back. I mean, anywhere you shoot, it's going to be on the face, so. Yeah, That's it's true. all his face. And he it's can fly back so You're looking at his face anyway. Yep. Okay. All right, 24. And, yeah, screw it. Let's go drop another Monster Slayer on him. So that's going to be a total of 26 damage, and he has disadvantage on any um, concentration save he has to make as a result. Okay, we'll roll that. Uh, 
Um, that'll drop the sphere. And another five piercing on top of that. So 31 total today, this turn, at this time. Well, he takes less damage from piercing, but... If you target an attack, is an aberration, fey, fiend, or undead, you deal maximum damage with both dice instead? Yes, that's uh, basically I'm adding two superiority to the superiority dice onto the damage here. Nice. At maximum, right? Yep. So that's why the first shot was 26. They are. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. He's hanging on, but just, just barely on that guy. Um, anything else you'd like to do this round? That's it for me. Okay. Uh, Lana. Rude little guy. Die. Get the damage on that. Well, on his turn. Yeah, on his turn, 22. His turn, he'll take 16. Or 22. Uh, 22. Uh, yeah, upcasting is nice. And then, Alrighty. I don't know, I'll mock it. Well, that's some crap damage. Okay, mock it. DC 17. These guys don't have the best wisdom. Well, that's six damage if he fails. And he, well, let me make sure he's not immune. He's immune to a lot. Um... So yeah, he would. He actually fails um, <laughs> six. Quite, quite badly, actually. And yeah, he'll take all six, and that's enough. <laughs> that's Shit. that's enough. You only had yeah. two. <laughs> nice. Perish. You mocked him to death. <laughs> Are you really a bard until you've done that, though? <laughs> I first in the I campaign. Don't think so. All right, um, Hildreth. Oh, right, Hildreth. Do you guys want, maybe we should wait until its turn goes by to start beating up on this other one? Yeah, we should, like, just surround it since it yeah. can't do Hildreth, anything. Hildreth, and then... hold an action for a chill touch. Okay. Yeah. Touch, uh, which takes us to Zyland. Um, I'll give right up in his face and hold an action for after its turn, and then get ready to okay. whack You're just going to hold the melee? Okay. Yeah. Uh, which makes it its turn, and it doesn't get to. Uh, so now do I get to go? Because it doesn't get to re-roll that at all, right? For channel No, nope, it's just... Yeah, it's PC, just PC abilities are stupid. It. Yeah. Like that. Or it gets hit. Okay, and it's really stuck in a corner. Uh, yeah, so it's it's done. All it can do is dodge. Dodge, dodge, um, and dive, and all right. All right. <laughs> Silence is gonna whack at it. Uh, your second attack will hit it. Um, so that's ten magical slashing. Um, I guess this one hasn't been hit before yet, has it? No. Uh, no, I've... no, it's it's been in the corner. Now that I've struck it, it's going to retaliate next turn, correct? Yeah, but okay. we have an entire yeah. we have an entire round of people wailing right. on it. I'll just hold my last divine smite then. So yeah, ten magical slashing. Uh, Hildreth's held action can go off probably now as well. Yeah, it can. And plus, you'll get another turn, Island, right? Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. So, Chill Touch can go off. Um, no... uh, oh, right. I am Hildreth. No. No, actually, that will work. Um, the shield effect broken. is a reaction. All of the cantrips are broken. Everything's set up wrong. 
Yeah, he just rolled a d20 plus four. four. It should be a plus six. Oh my god, it's all <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Every bit of it. <laughs> uh. Shouldn't it be more than... No, it he's is a only wis- He's based off of wisdom? Apparently. And he's a wisdom-based class. Yeah. Hmm. It's then his highest master a... stat. Oh, no. <sighs> his stat line's actually, like, surprisingly terrible. <sighs> that is true. He did not roll well. Gotcha. No. Uh, 16 necrotic. Mm-hmm. Then, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so that went through. That is fine. Um, the The skull is still floating. It's it's not happy, but it's still floating. Is there anything else you'd like to do, Hildra? Oh, no way. You held an action. Never mind. You don't get to do anything else. Um, so we are then to current. Uh, since I don't have to hold him there anymore, I will walk up over here and ask him politely to not dodge out of the way of this radiant energy that I'm going to be throwing his way. What about Silent? Does he get to dodge? Oh, no, it's it's like a... It's I just know, like a, I'm just making yeah. fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making fun. I know it's not a light attack. <laughs> Oh, that's a miserable failure, too. Oh, wait. Hang on. He does get advantage. That's still a failure. Still a miserable failure. Uh, oh, wait. Hang on. Never mind. I lied. That's still a fail. Even uh, <laughs> even using the right uh, stat, that's still terrible. Okay. I was about to... Uh, you, you're starting to sound like my... Uh... Like my uh, Ian electromagnetics teacher. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. So 13 damage. And. Yep, got it. I don't want to cast anything as a bonus action, so I will move to let other people in. Let me add them. Okay, top of the round. That means it's Devin's turn. Scoot down, I will yell for current before Xylan to duck. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. I sort of lean back against the wall. Oh, that's super cool. (laughs) Two attacks. Oh, wait, only the first one might hit because he can do stuff now. Okay. Uh, seven piercing. I'm gonna save my last right. superiority dice. Okay. Um, and that's my turn. Got it. Okay. Great. Um, Lana. Woo. Ugh. You can right, squish past in this corridor. Yep. I don't care about no fireball. All right, 28 for the big hurrah. And I'll mock it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Make sure I use the right stack this time. Is That's a fail. Eight. Great. And he only had six, so... Did I just kill another thing by laughing at it? Uh, you mocked another skull to death. Yes, you have embarrassed <laughs> them. Nice. They are they are now all just regular skulls on the floor. Better than they were. Yes, re 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 death. <laughs> the last of the skull twinks out of existence. Just done. It's gone. Was there anything in this chop shop room that was useful? We got a bunch it all. Of boxes. Uh, you guys. Uh, there I was the the cat skull lamp. 
she took the hair and she took the antitox that was inside. Uh, there was a, a lamp made from a uh, small animal skull with a lit candle in it. And there's lots of boxes through there. All kinds of small closed boxes. I'm just going to go That's in here and start moving right. boxes out into this bigger room, as well as the cat skull lamp. Team, how do we feel about maybe taking a break and coming back here later? Because it seems like everybody's still really hurt. I'm not. Well, but maybe yes. not you. And also kind of low on resources, I imagine. Eh. But yeah, maybe going outside for eight hours wouldn't be the worst thing we've ever done. Make camp and come back when we're actually in a condition to fight a group of hags. Yeah. Can these um flaming skulls, do they uh do they work in daylight? Like will they come back in the in daylight? I think they will. I don't think there's anything that would right. stop them. I'll just seal them so in this room. Then. I know out of game what stops them. Can I roll bard to know in game? I will let you all roll your knowledge, be it knowledge of religion or knowledge of arcana, whichever you're more comfortable with, to discern the best yes. way to deal with these skulls. Uh, I had to deal with these fuckers for the half of the campaign until we oh, figured it out. <laughs> uh, flaming skulls, the only way to return a flaming skull to their well-deserved rest is to either douse them in holy water or to uh, dispel magic, one of the two. Otherwise, they will or re I guess remove curse is the other. Uh, otherwise, they will uh, revive. We have holy water, right? I do not. I think I can make holy water, but it, I would have to take a long rest to get uh, the uh, uh, shoot. Oh. I have to spell if we're gonna go take a nap. Like Actually, can I, I suggest water? that, yes. The nap or the would, spell I would allow you to make holy water. Yeah, I need ceremony on paired. I would have to take a long rest to swap my spells out and get ceremony and then I would have to uh, I don't believe I have enough slots to dispel them all even if we take a long rest. And I am slightly wary of burning all my spell slots until I'm sure we can yeah. get outside. You'd need four dispel magics. Yeah. To Which I can around. do, but then I will have nothing left above yeah, second level. No. Like, why don't we just, like, shut them in a room and use Zion's yes. door thing? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. That sounds funny, and I that like seemed, That seemed to be where Zylan was headed, too. <laughs> like, Zylan, That's why I'm emptying out this room. I'm talking while I work. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah I imagine this plan is being discussed. Yeah, and I, right. I still I have still out. have spell slots to heal people with, so like it's I still have yeah. a decent amount. Let's just uh, press on and like if we uh, back out now, then who knows what the shenanigans the hag is going to get up to in here? Yeah, it's only going to get worse in here if we we have her on the ropes right now. Well, hopefully, do we? Because yes. it seems like she's still toying with us, and if there are more things that we are going to poke, yes. And... Going yes. to die from. Yes, we are so frightened of the hag right now, I say in a loud voice. <laughs> I, I I don't know if, if that's you being genuine, but ah, uh, I do know it's ah, ah, <laughs> ah, We'll drop that. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! Like human heart, uh, human sized. Yeah. Is this the thing? Didn't like, we help me? It was four weeks ago, and before a global pandemic, didn't we see someone get their heart ripped out? Yeah, we did. Yes. Yeah, I sure think did. Found the heart. She threw it at you. Oh, never mind. This is a different one. Yeah, she is a different heart. Yeah. This could be the hag's <laughs> heart. She threw that one at you. I'll put it in the bag of holding. <laughs> okay, <laughs> heart in the bag of holding. <laughs> All right, so you've pulled out all these boxes and the lantern from the chop shop. Um, is that all you're removing? You can leave the tables and stuff in there? I'll take that animal skull candle. I want that, just in case. Okay. It is still lit. Um, I will blow just... it out at this point. 
I'll just give yeah. one last yes. once over to the room before I seal the skulls in here. Yeah. And it put okay. all the skulls in um, The room looks fine, uh, empty. Uh, you're more than welcome to pile the skulls inside. Okay, that's what I mean. Um, all right, so you're getting the skulls around. We want to close out the lamp. Oops. What? Uh, why are we still touching things? <laughs> yeah, let's do one thing at a time. <laughs> no, that was actually a lamp. For once, it was kind of an accident. So you snuff out the candle that is situated on top of the skull. Um, the eye sockets begin to glow red, very similar to the effect of the flaming skulls. No spectral fire <laughs> with this one, though. Um, but it glows red, and then as you are holding the skull in your hand, the rest of a body mm. seems to form behind the skull, mm. and eventually the skull itself becomes... Uh, no longer material becomes translucent and starts to slip through your fingers as the form hits the ground it lands on all four feet and when the specter is finished shaping itself it looks like a um a larger than average uh cat pointed ears little tufts on top of the ears a little tuft at the tail uh, there's a very vague spotted kind of pattern to it. Uh, but again, it is completely see-through and still has burning red eyes at this point. Nice. Does it look and like it, the lily cat? It's like, no, no, totally different. This cat is much, much larger. Uh, the pattern is completely different. The hey, tufts on the ears kitty. weren't with the lily cat. Yeah, lily was a kitten. Hey, a kitty, kitty. kitten. This cat is Lana, what did you hey, do? Hey, kitty. Shh. Back away slowly. <laughs> <laughs> nope, Watches that is. you. Watches you call to it. Uh, little expression on its face. Not much of a face. Sort of watches you with disinterest. You Can we shoo it into the chop shop right. room before we? <laughs> it, up? it might be it's a friendly spectral. ghost. It could probably go through the door. Yeah, probably. Slipped through her hand. Yeah, it became it became substantial. Someone else tried to befriend the cat. I tried to befriend it with my aloofness. I will attempt with my <laughs> animal <laughs> handling <laughs> skill. <laughs> Hey. All three of it. But I had a good roll. Hey. <laughs> had a good roll. Uh, so it, it turns itself to look at you. And uh, you're not too close. It's, it's, a, it's a fairly unsettling thing to watch uh, as the eyes follow the specter wherever it goes, obviously. Um, and they don't blink. So it's just these two, like, red-hot coals that sort of watch you as you move around. Hello, ghost um, cat. Other uh, than, how... other, yeah, it doesn't, it's not hostile. What are you? you you're different. <laughs> you're a different kitty. That's what you are. That, yes, you are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we should probably leave I still think we should go take a rest and come back I want to have when it. we're sharper I, I, I kind of still want to explore I'm with Kern what happens if we, we have run an into odd number three of party hags if we run into stuff what? I think the hags aren't going anywhere and it might be better for us to have some spell slots I'm pretty low I've still got more than half my spell slots. I don't. Oh, well, wait. I actually still have a lot of mine. That seems wrong. I'll have to go back and check that. Oh, hi, boar friend. 
What's what's point, the point. board doing? I don't know. I just saw it move. It's your friend now. She cast animal friendship on it. Oh right. <laughs> Hi. Right. Well, let's let's go through, first. First, let's go through Kern's drive-through of healing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who has the lowest hit points right now? Not me. I have forty-six. All right. Here, I get ten of these because it is a uh, minute-long concentration spell. Hildreth has max. So, two d six. To who? Uh, first I'm doing you. Oh, okay. All right, nine. What does that put you at? Fifty-five. Fifty-five. I am lower than that. So I will take the next one. <laughs> I'm at 52 now. <laughs> I will take the next one. Oh. Well. Oh God! What what happened? Okay, there we go. Five. <laughs> I'm at fifty-eight. I don't know, but you sounded panicked. <laughs> my my computer screen just went black. Oh um, no! It's fine now. Okay. It's fine now. Uh, yeah, Zylan, this you. this next one's for you. It's another five. Sixty. Sixty. Take the next one. Oh, that's good. 66. Uh, how many have I done so far? One, Four, two, I think. Three, five? Yeah, oh, five. five. Uh, this is for you. This is six. Uh, oh, nice. This next one's for me. It's nice and small. Hey. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. All right. How? What other people need health? I'm at like seventy-four. I'm at sixteen. Uh, I got I'm ninety, little... so I'm good. You had one I... of those eights, Zylan. Yeah, I got. I think I got it. Okay. I'm only down five. Okay. What shields are that? He's at max. Oh. Max is hit. real low. Yeah, he got. He got minimal damage and he healed, so Hildreth is okay. Yeah. So I this next one will be for you, Zylan. Ooh, you get ten hit. Oh, points. nice. Ooh. I'm pretty close to max. Seventeen away from max. I think that's eight. I think I get two more. So this one's gonna be me. And then this last one will be for you. There you go. Yay. How many hands can Zylan still lay on? I've got all he my hands. He has not used any of that. Yeah. I've got seven hands. Okay. Seven magic hands. <laughs> <laughs> and each seven and each hands. finger rejuvenates you. Yeah. In its own way. <laughs> oh, is that why it's five per level? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, given the time, and this seems like a decent breaking point, yeah. we will go ahead and wrap up for today. Uh, good fighting, good looting. I'm very proud of all of you. <laughs> and uh, you can decide amongst yourselves, and then hopefully Twinkie will be available at the next session as well, so he can uh, break the tie if need be, about whether you want to uh, take your eight hours outside or if you want to press on. I'll let you guys fight that one out in the meantime. But that should be it for today. Thank Ooh. you all for coming. Yeah. It was good Thanks, getting Ryan. back to something Huzzah. resembling normality. Yeah. Yeah. I still want yeah. that chain. I'm glad, I'm glad you could make it soon. Yeah, well, it's in there. Just go touch it. Yeah, I mean, right, that's part of my maybe, motivation maybe, for maybe. let's go take a rest is so that well, we can touch it safely. How about, how about we take that and then we go take a rest i think i think we should say. explore further then take yeah. a rest then go deal with the beholder because i think the beholder and shit that would be something we should tackle with all our resources is my thinking on that i think the same for the hags but yeah maybe well i don't know i'm pretty afraid of three hags like 
Is there three hags? That's what you we know, believe. I mean, the... you can't have hags without, without, without having a con yeah. convent. We're level that's 12. True. You think there's not going to be a coven? Like, come on. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe maybe we should take the beholder then. Or the Relatedly, there's no way that's an undead beholder. That would be too easy. <laughs> no, that'll be fine. Will it? Yes. We don't even know for I sure that the beholder it. will be triggered. I want to fight the beholder. But I also want to fight that. the beholder, but, you know... I'm with like more. disappointingly uncursed. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a rest, fight the beholder, rest again. Because clearly we'll rest, you can just time. have as many as you want. No, you can only do one per 24 hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should yeah, tap ourselves let you guys out a do bit the more. Um, no, okay, I think we should try to get the, no. uh, the animal adventure. Yeah. I think, beholder. like... Sin said we should try to get the stuff from the Beholder room and then try to see if we can rest. Yeah, because we're that at full health. That seems like a good plan. And we have a lot of spells. So... Mostly, yeah. Mostly. And fun. usually the Beholder strategy is hit them hard and fast, and we can still do that. I, I, only kind of, though, because we're down our smites. Uh, I'm well, down I've got one second days. level Divine Smite, which is not... Yeah. Nothing. All right, that's fair. Especially I have a couple of giant apes left. <laughs> that might do it. You know, I, I've got I've got some spells <laughs> that I've been waiting to unveil since we got the um, boost in spell power or boost in uh, spell um, list thing. So. Oh yeah, clerics got even more spells for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is why, which is what why, what makes it, which makes uh, the drive through healing yeah. possible. <laughs> oh right, you didn't have aura before. I need yeah. to take a rest and look at the new things Lana can get. I know she can get Identify, which isn't even from the new list. I just never realized I could grab it. Yeah. And I want that. That way Xylan can stop having power over me with magic items. Yeah. I can also <laughs> summon four dogs now. Four Maystiffs. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And a rowboat. <laughs> All those are equally good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, you did take the hat, right? Sin? What hat? Oh, I took that. Oh, I forgot the, to identify the paper it. paper tricorn hat from your voodoo doll? It was paper? Are you going to wear another making... hat? Yeah, it was a paper, but it wasn't burned in the fire. Okay. Oh, that but thing it, is it is folded good. out of paper. We should, but we it's we should figure hat. out what that is, yeah. Yeah, we should. Anyway, I'll write it down. I've got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Making sure. I'm Does it look like a pirate have... hat? <laughs> it's a tricorn hat. Yeah, it actually is. It's a it's a it's like an origami tricorn hat. Awesome. I kind of want it. Too bad. <laughs> Get your own. <laughs> All right. Everyone's got their trinkets. Yes. Uh, Probably. It was cursed. good to have you guys back. I wish Twinkie could have made it, but it was so good yeah. to have yeah. that was almost fun. everybody. Yeah. yeah. The next time we will continue the do we or don't we debate and uh, and see what else can be found in this layer of weirdness. More curses. <laughs>